Do I have something in my teeth? No, no, not at all. Well, at least I don't think. I wasn't really looking at your teeth. Okay, well, what is it then? Because you're most definitely looking at something. Is that a new shirt? I'm pretty positive I have your entire closet memorized, and that shirt is not in one of my memories. Wow, that's like a superpower. So, is it a new shirt? You know it. <laughs> that shirt is what you're making a big deal over. That shirt is so lame. I mean, who even wears that? Well, you know what, Ashley? I like it, so there. If you ask me, I wouldn't even call attention to that shirt. Do you see my new shirt? Not only is it new, but it's Gucci. Well, good for you. Oh, it is good for me. It's more expensive, which automatically means it's better. That is so not true, but okay. Um, hello. Remember me, your teacher, the one who you came to class to learn from? Sorry, Mr. Teacher Man, sir. We didn't see you sitting there. Exactly. Thank you, Mackenzie, for pointing out the obvious. You have all become so obsessed with your clothing, what nonsense brands cost more, and how you look, and it is getting in the way of your schoolwork. But we're teenage girls. Isn't that kind of our jobs? Well, not anymore. Starting immediately, uniforms are going to be mandatory because the issue of clothing has gotten too out of control. And quite frankly, I think the clothes you kids wear today are completely inappropriate. Nobody wore sweatpants and miniskirts to school in my day. What day was your day again? The age of the dinosaurs? Enough! That is final. Starting on Monday, every one of you is going to come to school dressed in a uniform, and that is that. Three hours later. Oh, hello, Mr. Teacher Man, sir. Actually, uh, how'd you know that I'd be in here? The teacher's lounge is under construction, so I'm just having my break in here. Oh, don't worry about me. I just know things. Okay, wait, why does that worry me so much? I know a lot of things, like how you better make an exception from the uniform rule for me or else. Um, okay, well, you're still my student, Ashley. I'm not exactly scared of you, even though you do look rather intimidating. Oh, if I were you, I'd be scared, all right, because I am gonna blackmail you. Blackmail? I'm not sure you can blackmail someone when you have nothing on them. And I'm pretty sure you don't have anything on me, Ashley. Or do I? Because it just so happens that I know you're dancing to Girls World in the classroom when you didn't think anyone was watching. Ahem, <clears throat> um, you can't prove that I did that. I would never dance or lip sing to that song. Nobody ever said anything about lip singing. Darn it. Well, still, you can't prove anything. Oh, but I can. You videotaped me? You, you wretched child. Not so fast. I wouldn't be the one name calling the one who has all the power. <laughs> what? What do you want? Oh, perfect. Right down to it. I want to wear whatever I want to school. No question asked and no uniforms. Done. Whatever you want. As long as that video never sees the light of day. Well, I guess that entirely depends on you now, doesn't it? Please, Ashley, I have a family. People can't know how dorky I dance. I promise, no uniforms. You can wear whatever you want. Well, okay then. Look how easy that was. Toodles! Several days later. Uh, I can't believe we have to wear these dumb uniforms. I swear, I look like a bandage. You? Have you seen beige with red hair? Not pretty, girly. I just can't believe we have to do this. Is it getting to choose what you wear expressing yourself? Preach it, girly. And by that, I mean seriously preach it to someone of power so we can get the heck out of wearing these darn things. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it won't be so bad. I mean, on the bright side, we'll save a lot of money buying clothes. You are seriously not helping. Meanwhile... Ew, why does it look like our class is full of grocery bags? Why does it wash everyone out? It's totally gross. I know, but come on, Sky. It's only eight hours. We can get through it. Yeah, I guess. Look at her. Not a care in the world. Well, that settles it. There's no way I'm looking like a bandage if she doesn't have to. What happened to saving money on buying clothes? It just went out the window. That's what happened. Good morning, my students. My, my, don't you all look dapper. Excuse me, Miss teacher man, sir. Of course. I knew it was too good to be true. Yes, Mackenzie, how can I help you? Yeah, I'm sorry for interrupting, Mr. Teacher Man, sir. I just wanted to point out that the fact that Ashley is not abiding by the new dress code rule. Ah, yes, I see. 
Well, don't you worry about that. Ashley is simply exempt from the dress code. Wait, what? What does that mean? And can I ask why? Calm down, girly. You're starting to steam. Ah, it means that the way Ashley dresses is appropriate, so she doesn't have to wear a uniform. Now, if we may get back to our lesson for today. Sex is suck, Mackenzie. Oh, this isn't over. Later that same evening. I just can't believe it, Sky. Uh, take Elsa's advice and let it go, girly. You've been whining about Ashley for like the past hour. It's just not fair. I am so sick of Ashley always getting her way and always getting out of things that she doesn't want to do. Why can't the rest of us just do that? Because the rest of us aren't evil little trolls. I thought that was clear. No, this time she went too far. What does that mean? Ooh, did he get a burner at the stake? Guy, you're watching way too much History Channel. No, I'm saying if the way Ashley dresses is not inappropriate, then I just have to copy all the outfits that Ashley wears. What? No, girly, I love you, but this is a really, really bad idea. You don't copy the devil's outfits, you just don't. Why not? Because if I do, then there's no way the teacher can tell me I'm dressing inappropriately. Don't you think you're like maybe overreacting a little bit here? I mean, you could just suck it up and wear the uniform instead of getting involved with Ashley. No, Skye, it's more than that. This time, Ashley just took things way too far. I'm gonna show her up. I am done putting up with this. The next day... Wow, I feel so mean dressed like this. I hope it doesn't rub off on me. Ooh, there's Sky. I wonder what she'll think of my new look. Sky, hey Sky. Ah, leave me alone. Just stay away from me, Ashley. Sky, it's me. Huh, girly? Sorry, I saw the green and automatically assumed that you were Ashley. So you can see how I got so scared. Yeah, most of Ashley's victims seem to run when they see her lurking like a hungry lion. Exactly, but wow, you look good. Very convincing. Well, let's just hope it works. A few moments later. Um, uh, Mackenzie, I see you are not wearing your uniform today. I'm sorry, but this is a clear violation of the rules. I'm gonna have to write you up. I'm sorry, Mr. Teacher Man, sir, but I am pretty sure that Ashley is wearing the exact same outfit as me. No freaking way. Hey, Ashley, Mackenzie is wearing the same outfit as you. No kidding, Ayla. Wow, that's really funny. Ayla, I mean, it's not funny at all. Sorry, Ashley. You are so dead, Mackenzie. So, if Ashley is wearing it too, it must be appropriate, right? Because I'm dressed exactly like Ashley. Oh, I swear, Mackenzie, you are going so down. I'm going to get even, and when I do, you'll be so Sorry. Ew, now I have to burn this outfit because a freak wore it. Mackenzie, you still broke the dress code. But how? If Ashley's wearing it, then it must be appropriate. I mean, that is what you said after all. Um, well, uh, I'm sorry. I just don't have a comeback. What? You can't just let her get away with this. We'll deal with this later. For now, can everybody turn to page three? A lot of boring math later. Um, Is that the 
it only until you can come up with it, dumb hot dog. Maybe I'll copy your outfit for a week and see how you like it. Ew, don't do that, Ashley. Then you'll look like a freak, too. Hey, hey, break it up, you two. Mackenzie, Ashley, both of you, sit down right now or I'm going to have to send you to the principal's office. Now, what on earth is going on? And why are you two dressed like hot dogs? Halloween isn't for another month. Mackenzie keeps copying my outfit and I need to find a way to make her stop. Yeah, well, Ashley isn't following the dress code and it's not fair. So if she can wear normal clothes, then so can I. Ah, just tell the hot dog to shut up. Do shut up. Enough. I have had it with you two. Now this has gotten far too out of control and I am putting my foot down. Starting tomorrow, uniforms are to be worn by everyone. No exceptions. If you are not in a uniform, you are going straight to the principal's office. Have I made myself clear? Hmm, Mr. Principal Man, sir, are you sure you want to do that? Oh, I am crystal clear. All right, everyone, who's ready to watch a funny video? This test is going to be so easy. Well, I mean, we did spend all week preparing for it. Well, that's why it's going to be so easy, because we are so ready for it. <laughs> you both are such nerds. My goodness. I can't get over how annoying you both are. Yeah, nerds. Well, at least I'm not failing the rest like you. And I'll actually get a high mark, something you've never gotten before. I think I'd rather be a nerd than an idiot. Don't you agree, Kenzie? I totally agree. Yeah, well, if you're so confident, why don't we make a bet on it? There is no way I'm losing, so definitely. So, if I get a higher mark, then I get to control your life for 24 hours. And if you get a higher mark, then you get to control my life for the whole week. Don't agree to it, Kenzie. She could have a master plan up her sleeve. Shh, what's the worst that could happen? Challenge accepted. Perfect. Are you crazy, Ashley? Mackenzie has the best grades in school. Don't worry, I have all the answers to the test already. <laughs> the next morning. Ready to do everything that I say? Oh, yeah, totally. I'm just so scared. Good morning, class. We gotta make her do super embarrassing things. I totally am. Uh, I have a special announcement today. Everyone, please listen up. The moment we've all been waiting for. Someone got 100% on the test yesterday, and I am so proud of them. Woohoo! Looks like I got the unbeatable score. Let's go! And that special person is Ashley. Woohoo! Take that, loser. Oh, dear lord. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Suckers, I won. I won. Should you tell her? Or should I? I'll break it to her. Kenzie? Kenzie! Yeah! Some uh, bad news. What? What's up? The teacher said Ashley, not your name. Oh, dear Lord. Looks like we're gonna have some fun together, girly. <laughs> Later that night. Get outside right now, twerp. <laughs> She's probably scared out of her mind. What are you two doing here? Well, it starts at midnight. I'm making sure you get no sleep tonight. Let me make a quick phone call. Yes? Get over here ASAP. The vultures are here. They said it starts tonight at 12 and then I'm getting no sleep. I'll be there ASAP and don't let them in until 12. Okay, see you soon, girly. Yeah, you're not allowed inside until 12 then. That doesn't bother me one bit. Later that night. Wake up, losers. Oh, uh, why are you the worst human being on the planet? You got a date with the lake. It's time for a polar bear swim. What? That's suicide. Wake up, nerds. Ugh, she's already up, Ayla. Oh. Huh? What? What's going on? You're making me do a polar bear swim in the middle of the night at the lake. Don't worry too much. There's just monsters that lurk at the bottom of the lake during the nighttime. So as long as you don't touch the bottom, you should be fine. Oh, boy. Five minutes later. This is insanity. Time to jump in and swim to the other side and back. You better hope the monsters don't drag you under the water and keep you there. with me, girly. <laughs> what? You know I love you, right? Yes. Well, good, because there is no way in the head that I am doing that. You're the one that lost the bet, not me. But uh, anyways, good luck. Stop wasting your time and get in there already. Goodbye, cruel world. Please don't eat me, monsters. <laughs> what a scary cat. I cannot believe that she believed us. You got this, Kitty. Don't look down. Why did I make that stupid bet? <laughs> Moments later. Ew, I made it. You gotta come back this way, girly. It's there and back. Darn it. Well, I made it this far. Ah, something touched my foot. Hurry, right, then, girly. I don't want to die. I'm coming to save you. You're not allowed to go in and save her. She has to do this all by herself. Ah, ah, that was horrible and cold. I'm never doing that. 
that again. Something definitely touched me. Oh, Dad, there's monsters in there. What? I thought you were joking about that. Ah! Ava, just shut up. Also, you have to sleep on your front lawn tonight, Mackenzie. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Have fun. The next morning. Okay. A few moments later. Looks like it's time to go to school. But what about showering? Yeah, right. <laughs> wait, wait. I have a way better idea of what she should come to school dressed in. What? <laughs> that is absolutely genius, Ayla. Oh, great. I say I told you so, but yeah, you probably already knew that. Three hours later. <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs> what on earth are you wearing, Mackenzie? We're not at the beach. We're in class. Or, wait, are we? <laughs> the beach look is not a school look, Ken. Oh, yeah. Whatever you say, Mr. Fashionista. That's what I told her. What in God's good name made you think wearing that to school would be fashionable? Well, let me answer this one. She lost a bet to Ashley, and now Ashley controls her life for the next 24 hours. Oof, that's awful. It is. What was the bet for? It... You'll never believe how. It's actually the funniest thing ever. She made a bet to see who would get a better mark on the test, and then Ashley got 100%. Oh, dear. That is pretty unbelievable. Yeah, you're telling me. Mackenzie Grace Turner. Yes? What on earth are you wearing? A bathing suit and a floaty. Go home and change immediately. I can't. Why not? I lost a bet. And what was this bet? Well... One pathetic soap story later. And that's why I'm wearing this ridiculous outfit. <laughs> Ayla is so funny for doing that. And I can't believe Ashley got 100% on the test. It really wasn't your day. <laughs> that is so awful. So I've been told. Moments later. Oh, thank God. I think Ashley and Ayla went home and forgot about me. I would never forget about my very best friend whose life I get in control for 24 hours. Why can I never catch a break? Okay, come on, Tilly. It's time for the real fun to begin. Moments later. What on earth are we doing here? Oh, gosh, Kenzie. I don't like the way this is turning out. Please don't leave me. You owe me big time. Steal the police car. That's insane, Ashley. That's what makes it so fun. But I don't want to go to jail. A deal is a deal. No. Oh, really? A few moments later. Why are we doing this? Can we please be done? I don't want to get trouble. Shut up and keep driving. Kenzie, can you please pull over so I can get out? I don't want to go to jail. I want to go faster. You better not stop this thing, Mackenzie, and start driving faster. I'm sorry, Sky. It's okay. Just don't kill us. Faster, faster. Go as fast as you can without stopping. Ah! Ah! Please stop. This is a nightmare. Woo! I feel so alive. Ah! Moments later. <laughs> Traumatizing. Way to go, Mackenzie. Now the car is destroyed. Hey, you stole the police car. You are all in big trouble. Oh, no. We have to tell them the truth, and hopefully we don't get in lots of trouble. Um, are we under arrest? Yes. Then peace out, losers. Stop running, you idiots. Why are you running away from me? You know I'm a terrible runner. That's the whole point. See you never. Why are we doing this? I don't want to be a criminal. It's too late now. Three hours later. What's going on, George? Because it seems pretty serious. Uh, where are the donuts? We'll get them later, but we have to do the news first. Right, right. Uh, there are four outlaws in Brookhaven, and their names are Mackenzie, Sky, Ashley, and Ayla. They need to be arrested and brought to justice immediately. They are a real danger to the citizens of Brookhaven, and I need everyone's cooperation. You heard it here first, folks. If you see any of these four girls, please call in immediately. Any help is appreciated. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Hey, uh, can I have my donuts now? Yes, you can have your darn donuts. Now just please shut up and let me concentrate. Meanwhile, this is absolutely terrible. We need to go back into town and confess. I totally agree. 24 hours isn't up yet, loser. Well then, I'll just go back myself. Mackenzie, tell your little friend that if she decides to go
go back that will all go back afterwards and blame the whole thing on her. Even you will. But I would never do that to Sky. But you'll have to. Ooh, looks like you're trapped with us now. Seems like we're in checkmate, girly. Uh, what are we gonna do? I guess listen to them until it's midnight tonight. Uh, hello? What's going on? Are you kidding me? Stealing police cars and being an outlaw? Oh, boy. Oh, you are so done for Sky. Oh, you are in big trouble now. How could you do this to us? I'm just not gonna answer my phone then. Probably for the best. We'll sort this out later. Now that we're outlaws on the news, we're gonna have to rob the bank and use the money to skip town. What? Woohoo! Road trip! Later that night. This is way easier than I thought it would be. Oh, good spirits up in the sky. Please help us. Grace, you're under arrest. A few moments later. Oh. Did I make that stupid bet? I told you so. Uh, I can't believe they pushed me into the water in front of Josh. I'm so embarrassed. Girl, we gotta put our foot down. We can't appear weak to the bullies. If we don't fight back, then they're just gonna walk all over us. Yeah, you're definitely right. But like, what do we do? Hmm, let me think. Well, what if we bake them cookies and put raisins in them instead of chocolate chips? Oh, that would totally teach them. Boring. Mackenzie, you're not good at being evil. Where is your evil twin when we need her? Okay, well then I give up. Ah, got it. What, what, what'd you get? So, it was Ashley's birthday last week and her parents got her a new pink Jeep. What if... Okay, I'm listening. We paint her car green. Oh my gosh, Sky, that's so evil, but so smart. Gosh, when did you get so evil? Oh, girl, I've been watching a lot of TV and taking some notes. Uh, oh, my gosh, this is so not like us. Like, this is so mean. Promise me this will be the only mean thing like we ever do. Yes, pinky swear. Okay, pinky swear. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm actually kind of excited to get our revenge. I've never been so excited to be so evil. Okay, so what's the plan? Okay, hear me out, girly. Tomorrow in English class, we will sneak out of it. Okay. We will go to the art wing of the school and steal some green paint. Oh, my gosh. Okay, tell me more. Then we'll go outside to the back of the school. That's where Ashley always parks. And we will paint her car green. Oh my gosh, that is such a great plan. But what happens if we get caught? We're gonna be in so much trouble. Don't worry, girly. We won't get caught. <sighs> okay, fine. Then let's do this. Yeah, and my mom says TV is a waste of time. Alright, you should get some sleep before our big day. Okay, good idea. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh my gosh, this plan is bulletproof. Those bullies are gonna get exactly what they deserve. Dear Diary, there is a new boy at school today named Josh. He is so cute and handsome. But sadly, Ashley the bully had to claim him all for herself. He invited me over to his beach party today and Ashley pushed me into the lake. I ran home crying. But to be honest, I wasn't even crying about the fact that Ashley pushed me into the lake. I was crying because Josh didn't run after me to see if I was okay. I really like him, but I guess Ashley can have him now. Oh, and don't worry. We've got a plan to get back at the bullies. Ah, uh, okay. I cannot wait for tomorrow. The next day. Sky, the bus is here. Come on, we don't want to be late. Oh my gosh, coming. Are you excited for today? I'm excited, but kind of nervous. I don't want to get in trouble. Don't worry, girl. We won't get in trouble. Okay, yeah, you're right. I don't know. I'm just paranoid. Oh my gosh, we're here. Okay, let's go, girl. Okay, come on. We can't be late. Oh, hey, look who it is. Hey, Mackenzie. You sure look good as a drowned rat yesterday. <laughs> good one, Ashley. Yeah, whatever, Ashley. If I was you, I would sleep with my eyes open. Hey class, anyone know where Josh is? This is the fifth day in a row he's been late. I don't know, he's probably somewhere being dreamy. Ew, gross. Mackenzie, now's your chance. Oh, right, okay, I got this. Excuse me, teacher, can I go to the washroom? Why, yeah, of course you may, Mackenzie. Okay, great, thank you. Come on, Sky, let's go. Sky, where do you think you're going? Uh-oh. Uh, to the washroom with her? Uh, why do you both need to go? Uh-oh, what do we do, what do we do? Well, since you asked, She's on her dot. <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? Dot? You know, the thing that comes after a sentence, Mr. English teacher, sir. Oh, a period? Oh my gosh, please don't tell me more. Sorry, you asked for it. Bye. 
good one, Sky. That was so good. Let's go up here. Okay, I'm following you, girl. Oh my gosh, I hope there's no teachers around. All right, get some green paint, girly. Okay, I'm gonna take some of the green paint. Oh, this green looks perfect. Let's get it. All right, I got the green paint. Let's go. Okay, nice. Follow me. Okay, I'm following you. I'm just really nervous. I don't want to get caught. Oh my god, wait. What? What happened? What happened? We have to crawl past our class so they don't see us. Oh my gosh, okay, let's be super quiet. All right, come on, Sky. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, be super quiet. Oh, look at them all in class. Achoo! Wait, did someone sneeze? No, it wasn't us. Strange. Uh, oh my gosh, he's right there. He's right there. He's right there. Sky, don't say a word. Hmm, no one outside either. I must be getting old. Sky, you almost blew our cover. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I had to sneeze. Ah, okay, whatever. Come on, let's go. Oh my gosh, look. Whoa, it's so nice. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're gonna paint over it. Let's do it, girl. It's now or never. Okay, come on, let's go. Okay, here's the paint. Hey, what are you guys up to? <gasps> oh, it's a PE teacher. Um. Oh my gosh, Mr. Gym Teacher, sir, hi. Mackenzie and I were just, uh, going on a run. No way, me too. Here, let me show you my favorite trail. Come on, guys. Oh my gosh, you've gotta be kidding me. Now we're going for a run? Oh, what have we gotten ourselves into? Come on, slow pokes. Uh, Sky, how do we get out of this? I'm gonna pretend to trip and break my ankle. <gasps> Good idea. Come on, guys. Let's go. Okay, now's your chance. Come on. Ow! <gasps> oh, no. Sky. Oh, my gosh. What happened? Well, it looked like she fell. I think I tripped on a rock. I can't feel my ankle. Oh, no. I guess we can't go on a run anymore. I'll call an ambulance. An ambulance? Oh, my gosh. Sky, he's calling the ambulance. Oh, boy. I did not plan for this to happen. Uh, it's okay. We'll figure it out. Oh, my goodness. The ambulance is here. We are in deep doo-doo. Come on, get her in. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening right now. All right, guys. Hope you're okay, Sky. All right, bye. Guy, what do we do now? I got a plan. Just follow my lead. Okay, I need you to find a wheelchair to sneak us out of here. Hurry. Okay, a wheelchair. I'll go find one. All right, I got the wheelchair. Now let's get out of here. Okay, quick, let's go. Okay, now ditch the wheelchair. Let me ditch this thing behind that tree. Okay, good idea. All right, let's do the darn thing. Okay, let's go, girl. We got this. It's time to give Ashley a taste of her own medicine. All right, you know the drill. Okay, come on, let's do this. This time be extra quiet. Yes, okay, we made it. Let's go, let's go. Okay, there it is. Now is our chance, girl. Okay, here's the paint. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're doing this. Oh my gosh, it's green. Oh my gosh, Ashley's gonna lose it. Meanwhile. All right, guys, can you please bring out the homework from yesterday? Oh no, Ayla, I left it in the car. Can I please go get it? Yes, but hurry up. I'm coming. All right, I'm not going to even ask why. I learned my lesson. Hey, I hope I'm not late. Josh, this is the fifth day in a row. Sorry to have to do this to you, but you have detention after school. Oh, man. Wait, where is everyone? Okay, now let's hurry back to class before anyone sees us. Yeah, good idea. Let's go. Uh, what are you guys doing? <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're dead to me. Ow, uh, no, my hair. Ow, ooh. Ow, that hurts. What is happening out here? Mackenzie painted my car green. Well, that's because she pushed me into the lake yesterday. All four of you, detention. Wait, what did I do? Now. Oh, uh, this is the worst. This is all Ashley's fault. None of this would have happened if she wasn't such a bully. Good going, nerds. Now we have detention. Yeah, nerds. Well, this is all of your fault. Do you ever shut up, Ayla? Uh, rude. We wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for you guys in the first place. No, this is your guys' fault. Ugh. Josh? What are you guys doing in detention? <laughs> All right, everyone, I have a new assignment for all of you. You're going to have to create a fake business for yourself. You get to pick what kind of business, and you're going to be doing this assignment in pairs of two. Mackenzie, bestie, girly, we're going to be partners, right? Of course, girly. How could I ever choose anyone else? <laughs> Let's make a fake candy business. That's perfect, because we are the sweetest. <laughs> I don't want you always pairing off with the same people, so I'm going to be assigning the partners. Mackenzie, you will be partners with Ayla. What? I object! Ayla, this isn't a court of law. Sustained! That's not how that... Move to contempt! I'm sorry, but you're all gonna have to work with the people I have assigned you to work with. 
I'm not sure you understand what that means. I can't work with that loser. Ayla, we do not use that word in my classroom. Also, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to work with your partners assigned, just like everybody else in this class. That's not fair! It is actually the definition of fair. Oh, fine! Later that same evening. Hello, Ayla! And let me know if you need anything. Ew, why is your house so ugly? I've never seen an uglier house in my life. But you literally just said... And your mom looks so old. Did she have you in a senior center? What? No, Ayla, if you're going to insult my mom, you can leave right now. And fail this assignment? Yeah, right. Okay, fine. Let's just focus on our project. How about we make a candy store? Everyone likes candy, right? Because it's so sweet. Maybe we could even call it Sweeties. A candy store? Sugar is literally poison, okay? Are you trying to poison theoretical children here? Why are you trying to murder children? Okay, okay, sheesh. I was just trying to throw out an idea. My father said that the only businesses worth investing in right now are cryptocurrencies. Crypto what? minutes later. Mr. Teacher Man, can I come in? I need to tell you something about the project. The partner you chose for me to work with. You see, Mr. Teacher Man, sir, she was coming to tell on me. But she's the one who just refuses to do any work on the project. She said I have to either do it her way or you both have to just do it alone, which just isn't fair. What? Are you kidding me? That's what you said. 
said, not me. She's lying, sir. I went up to her just earlier in the hallway and tried to make Blanche for us to work together, but she just completely ignored me. Not true, sir. I didn't hear her say anything to me in the hall. Maybe you refused to acknowledge it, but I was talking to you, Ayla. And I think deep down inside, you know that. She's lying. No, she's lying. Look, I don't have the capability to sort out who is lying and who isn't. So, I'll tell you what. Why don't the two of you just come back to work on the project here in my classroom after school? Fine with me! Ugh, fine! Two hours later. Whoops! I accidentally just spilled my soda on you! What the heck, Ayla? You just did that on purpose! No, I didn't! Ugh, now I'm covered in juice and I can't go home and change because I have to go to the classroom and work on the project! One week later. And so that's why our cryptocurrency would dominate the market. We even called it Pair because we want our cryptocurrency to promote partnership and exchange in business and other things. Wow, well, Mackenzie and Ayla, I have to say, your project communicated a level of understanding of the marketplace that is well beyond your years. I am incredibly impressed. You both get an A+. Oh, wow. Thank yourselves, you did it. You know, Eli, you can always hang out with me and Sky sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I do love salt. Chips are the best. Hey, losers, miss me? Ashley, you're back from vacation. Ayla, oh my god, don't tell me you started hanging out with these losers when I was away. Ew, no, I would never. Come on, I have stories to tell you about Bermuda boys. Well, at least we know we're the bigger people in this situation. You know what? I don't think it's ever gonna bother me again when Ayla and Ashley are mean to me. Oh yeah? How come? Because I know it's not my fault. They are unhappy people living unhappy lives. And that makes them want other people to be unhappy too. Who knows? Maybe one day they'll change. But for now, I'm not gonna let it bother me. Because nothing can burst our bubble. Right, bestie? Dang straight, girly! Bye, Mom! Bye, Dad! I'll see you after school! second honey why but i'll be late it'll only take a second just come and talk to us for a bit uh am i in trouble oh no no not at all actually quite the opposite so you called me in here to tell me that 
I'm not in trouble? No, not that. Just listen so you're not late. Okay, I'm listening. Do you know how every year we try and surprise you for your birthday and every year it somehow gets ruined by you snooping through the closet? Yeah, sorry about that one. Well, we have a surprise for you. But my birthday isn't for like months. Exactly. We got you. This way you never even saw it coming. And for once we can surprise you. Oh my gosh, what did you get me? What did you get me? Okay, relax, relax. It's not a car or anything, but we think you're really gonna like it. Okay, close your eyes. Oh my gosh, I love it. A brand new pink Barbie t-shirt. I love Barbie and even better, I love pink. It's my favorite color. Oh, you guys know me so well. Wow, I didn't even think we'd ever see the day where we successfully surprised you. I say job well done. Can I wear my new shirt to school today? Of course, we got it for you so you'd wear it. Go ahead. Right, I am so excited. I cannot wait to go and show Sky. Moments later. Hey, girly, where have you been? I have been waiting outside for you for like five whole minutes and it's almost forced me to interact with people who are not you. Sorry, I was at home since we all know I have a really bad habit of sneaking through my parents' closet and looking for presents they surprised me with. They decided to give me my birthday present months early, so what do you think? That depends. Uh, what is it? A shirt, Sky. Oh, the shirt. Cool, yeah, I like it. You really? You don't seem like you do. What are you gonna do? Analyze my whole face now? Yes, I like it. Now, come on, we're gonna be late. There's something about going to school with a new t-shirt on that makes my whole day better. Girly, your happiness is my happiness. Meanwhile... Oh. Barbies. But you like Barbies. I never said that either. Just leave me alone, Ashley. Well, clearly you like Barbies or else you wouldn't be wearing that loser top. Hey, Ashley, have you ever had a Barbie shoe shoved up your nose? Let's just say I have a brother and I'm aware of how to make that happen. Oh my God, McKenzie still likes Barbies. Leave me alone. My mom and dad got me this shirt as a present. That's even worse. Hi, my name's McKenzie and my mommy and daddy got me a Morning, my students. Before we dive into today's lesson on marine mammals, <laughs> get it? Dive. Like a dolphin? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna start with the morning announcement. Excuse me, Mr. Teacher Main, sir. What is it, Ashley? Before you start the morning announcement, I have an urgent message I'd like to share with the class. I really don't make enough money for this, but go ahead. Attention, everyone, attention. If any of you have any old Barbies lying around your house, them to Mackenzie since she still plays with Barbies. Oh no. You know, if any of you still have them from your younger siblings or for your dog to chew on, please gather them all because Mackenzie would really appreciate it. And if you don't believe me, check out her shirt. Come on, stand up, Mackenzie. <laughs> okay, Ashley, that's enough. I'm starting to see now that this wasn't an urgent message and remind me to never believe you after that again. Come on, Moments later. Wow, girly, you can really run fast when you're sad. Ew, okay, now I'm good. Are you okay? Why does she always do that to me? Anything good I ever have going on, she always has to take it away from me. You can't let Ashley get to you, Kenzie. You just can't. She's like one of those horrible evil monsters who feed off of your fear. The more you fear her, the stronger she gets. She's a bully, and that's how bullies work. Huh, I wonder if back when cavemen existed, if they had bullies or if they just fed them all the dinosaurs. I've had it with her. I just can't do this anymore. Middle school is hard enough as it is. It's a struggle deciding what to wear, or how to dress, what sneakers to put on so you don't get picked on. And that's all hard enough without some bully making your life miserable over it. That's middle school for you, girly. I think it's known as the worst years of your life. But that's a good thing because we're getting it out of the way now. I just don't know what to do anymore, Sky. Well, I hate to admit it, but that Barbie shirt was a little babyish. Wait, you think so too? See, I knew you acted weird when you saw it earlier. Yeah, but you liked it, and that's all that matters. Why would I say something when you clearly are happy? Like, 
Besides, it's only one shirt. It's not a big deal. This is an easy fix. I'll just help you pick out some new clothes. Really? You will? Yeah, of course. I do anything for you. Aw, thanks, guy. And besides, if all else fails, you can just judge like Ashley. <laughs> One hour later. I thought you were just gonna dress like Ashley, so why are we going to the hair salon? I don't think clothes are just enough. I need to make this authentic. Just make sure her personality doesn't rub off on you too, okay? Noted. Hello there, how can I help you today? Hi, I'd like to get my hair done. Well, that's a good idea, considering you came inside a hair salon. Oi, kids today. All right, well, why don't you have a seat and tell me what you would like done? Hmm. I'm trying to think about how to word this. Could you make me look like a bully? Sure. I remember the typical bully haircut from back in my day. See? Already easier than I thought. A few moments later. And voila! What do you think? Whoa. Oh my gosh. What do you think, Sky? I don't know what to think. Every time I see that haircut, it's being mean to me. That ought to do the trick then. Thanks. Anytime. Just remember, that haircut should come with a warning label. Meanwhile... My wardrobe. Copying Ashley's outfits, here I come. Shh, if I were you, I wouldn't be so loud. Seriously, Sky, I'm pretty sure nobody's even in here. Hi, how can I help you guys today? Hey, do you think you can help me pick out some new clothes? Well, considering that's what I get paid to do, sure. What are you looking for? Do you think maybe you could point us to the direction of some clothes that a bully would wear? A bully? That Right. Okay, well, that's a super weird request, but oddly enough, I know exactly what you're talking about. Follow me. The next day. Oh my gosh, Carly, I swear, it doesn't even look like you. I know, isn't it great? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I like the real you. Well, you might be the only one, because the real me always gets picked on. Hey, Mackenzie, cool look. Me? Really? Wow, thanks. Yeah, you look just like Ashley, only nicer. Oh! Uh, you hear that? It's totally working already. Meanwhile. Whoa, Mackenzie, you look so cool. Are you sure you're even allowed to talk to us, Ayla? We wouldn't want your master getting angry. Thanks, Ayla. I really appreciate it. So, uh, where's Ashley? Oh, Ashley's homesick today. Oh, no. I just feel terrible. Please pass along our thoughts and prayers in this trying time. Thanks. I think she'll be okay. Something about how the clashing of our outfit makes her physically yeah, that happens to the both of us. Anyways, would you guys want to come join the cool table at lunch today? The cool table? Us? Uh, yeah, sure. Hold on. Is this a test? No. Why would this be a test? I think we're in the clear, girly. I don't think she has her evil powers when Ashley's not here. Thanks for checking, Sky. One hour later. Thanks for inviting us to sit with you, Ayla. That was really cool. No problem. Part of me thinks it would be a problem if Ashley was here. Yeah, but Ashley's not here. Hey, Mackenzie, you look really awesome. I love your new look and your haircut. You do? Thanks so much. I know I already said it, Mackenzie, but I really like your look, too. It's awesome. I don't know what it is, but there's just something about how you look that just makes me fear you a little bit. Yeah, I have no idea what that could be. Well, whatever it is, it's super cool. The next day... Oh, boy, this is gonna be a cat fight. Oh, my God, what are change of clothes. Ah! 
Meanwhile... surprise for one lucky listener two front row tickets to a taylor swift concert oh my gosh this is now my new favorite channel ever turn it up turn it up oh of course now you like it okay we are gonna ask some trivia questions and whoever calls in and answers them correctly will be the lucky winner okay okay i'll call in you aren't those texting fingers girly first trivia question how many colors are in the rainbow oh our first caller what is your name and your answer oh my god i'm on the radio hi my name's mckenzie and i'm from brookhaven my answer is six there are six colors in the rainbow i'm very sorry mckenzie but that is incorrect i'm afraid the correct answer is seven i told you why is nobody ever listening to me Shh. it's okay mckenzie we'll give you one more question to redeem yourself what restaurant's mascot is a clown? Oh, I know this one. I know this one for sure. Let's go over our answers before you just blurt something out here. McDonald's. Very good. Now for the last question, if you get this one, you will win two front row tickets for Taylor Swift. What is the name of the fastest land animal? Listen to me, girly. It's a leopard. Leopard, girly, or is it a lion? No, no, Sky. I know this. Are you sure? Like, there's a lot of fast animals out there. That is correct! Well, congratulations, Mackenzie from Brookhaven. You and someone of your choice just won two tickets to see Taylor Swift. Yay! The next day... I think I'm starting to lose my voice, girly. Maybe you shouldn't have screamed so loud when we finally got the tickets. Oh, come on, like you weren't screaming too. Good morning, my very wonderful students, and a very happy Monday. I thought to warm us up for the week, everyone can take a turn and tell us something good that happened to them over the weekend. Oh, we're about to totally crush everybody. It's not a competition, Sky. But with that being said, we totally just won it, so I should go first. Oh, it looks like someone is awfully excited to talk about their weekend. Mackenzie, you have the floor. Yeah. She'll ever have because nobody is ever gonna want her. Oh my god, good one, Ashley! My weekend was really, really great. So, Sky and I were listening to the Brookhaven radio station, and they announced they're giving away free Taylor Swift tickets. And all you had to do was answer trivia questions correctly. Oh my god, how lame does that sound? Shut up, Ayla! I want to hear this. I didn't think there was any chance of us winning it, especially because we got the first question wrong. But I managed to get the next two questions right. So before we knew it, I got two front row tickets to see Taylor Swift, and I'm taking my best friend. Oh, we'll see about that. One hour later. I have a new project. Ooh, what is it? Tell me, tell me. Oh, it sounds so desperate, okay? It hurts my ears. Sorry, Ashley. Uh, so, uh, what's the project? I'm going to try. Mackenzie's new BFF. Ew, why would you want to do that? Isn't she kind of like a loser? I mean, those were your words. If you don't think she's a loser, I totally don't either. Oh, Ayla, keep up. Of course she's a loser. This isn't about that. Okay, then what's it about? I need to get close enough to her so she'll take me to the concert with her and so 
scared of that redheaded freak Sky. Wait, so this is all about concert tickets? Of course, this is all about concert tickets, you fool. I would cut off your limb to be in the front row watching Taylor Swift perform. And some radio station is giving that loser an opportunity over me? Uh, no thank you. You're gonna get both tickets so we can both go, right? Hey, she's my fake best friend. Go find your own. Meanwhile... Only one more sleep till Taylor Swift. Only one more sleep till Taylor Swift. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I'll be able to sleep. I am way too excited. I think that radio station is gonna be my new background noise from now on. Oh, so now you like the radio station. Hey, Mackenzie, how are you doing? Uh, hi. What do you have for lunch there? I'm sorry, Ashley, but I am really hungry today. Please don't make me give it to you. Oh my gosh! Don't even worry, girl. I would never do that. Friends don't do that to each other. Friends? I'm sorry. I think I'm missing something here. What are you talking about? This is just how friends are with each other. By the way, Kens, I can call you Kens, right? I guess so. Cool. Well, by the way, I am loving the way you've been wearing your hair recently. You mean the way she's been wearing her hair since kindergarten? What? to Ashley. I'm not up to anything. I'm simply complimenting my friend Mackenzie here on her hair. Well, thanks, Ashley. Actually, now that you do mention it, I have been using a new conditioner. Thanks for noticing. Wait, you have been? Why haven't I noticed? See, certain friends notice certain things. You are so welcome, girl. Ashley, are you running a fever? I'm pretty sure delusion is a known side effect. Oh, Sky, you are too funny. I couldn't feel better even if I tried. Hey, Kenz, would you want to come take a seat at my table? You mean the popular table? I, I couldn't. Sure you could. We can kick Ayla out of her seat and you can take her place. It's no problem. A few moments later. Ugh, if only the radio had trivia that answered homework questions too. Yes, that must be fate. The universe wants me to take a break. Ashley, what are you doing here? Hey, girl, I thought I'd swing by. But how do you even know where I live? Oh, don't be silly. Friends just know these things about each other. So, can I come to your room? Uh, okay. So, this is your room. Yes, it is. I never thought in a million years I'd see you inside of it. But yes, this is my room. It's, uh, cool. There is so much I love about it. Hey, Ashley, could I ask you something? Of course, girl. That's what friends do. What are you doing here? later. Whoa, did you fly over here? Okay, you're starting to really freak me out. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Where are your Taylor Swift tickets? What? What are you talking about? They're right on my table. They've been there all day. Wait, where do they go? I swear, I had them right there. Oh, I'll tell you where they went. Ask your new BFF. No, no! Oh yeah, I knew she was up to something. This was her plan all along. She never wanted to be my friend. She just wanted to steal my tickets. This was a trap. Well, duh. I mean, girly, what did you expect? A black widow has more empathy than Ashley. I don't know. I guess I thought that maybe she liked me. Shh, why would you want her to like you? You're amazing just the way that you are. Yeah, maybe you're right. Ugh, whatever. Whatever? Oh, no. No whatever. We are going to the concert and we are getting those tickets back. And how do you suggest we do that? Follow me. I have a plan. She always 
always has a plan. Later that night. That could not have been easier. I swear, it was like taking candy from a baby. But why would a baby have candy? Ugh, you are so dumb, Ayla. Anyways, if Taylor Swift asks, we don't know each other. I can't believe we're actually gonna meet her. Of course we are. It was a foolproof plan. Was it really? Wow, I'm shaking in my boots. What are you gonna do about it, loser? You took my tickets and I want them back. Just give the tickets back and no one gets hurt. No way! They don't even have any proof! Actually, I do. Turns out that the security guard's morning job is actually being the host of the radio station. He was the one I spoke with on the phone and he remembers who I am. And he can verify that I'm the one who won the tickets. There's your proof, Ashley! Wha-bam! Alright, girls, party's over. Just hand over the tickets and we can forget this ever happened. But, but... Now! Uh now, get lost! But, but Taylor Swift and I were supposed to become best friends! Come on, Jesse! Let's go! She's starting! Oh, work is not for the week. I don't know why they don't teach you how hard having a job is in school. Working at this grocery store is seriously kicking my butt. But at least having a job is giving me a little spending money. Cleaning up around the house was seriously not cutting it. Okay, there's got to be enough here to at least get something worth buying. And 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars? My god, finally I have enough money to buy something cool. Girly? Guy, why are you whispering? Oh no, you didn't lose your voice, did you? Oh, I thought you were at work and I thought you said your boss had a strict no phone policy. So when I called, I had to whisper. No, no, I'm pretty sure I said my boss has a no phone policy. So I can't talk when I'm at work, but I'm off now. Oh yeah, I may have made up that last part. So, what's up? I was counting the money that I made so far and I have $50. Whoa, holy cash advance, girly. You've literally only been there for a week. I know, and I finally have enough to afford something cool. So, what are you gonna get? I don't know yet, but I know just where to look. Christmas is coming up, and wearing a cool new shirt to school will be perfect to get me into the holiday spirit. I know where this is going, so are you thinking rock star? Sometimes I think you know me better than I know myself. It's my job, girly. So, meet me there? Yeah, let's meet in 10. I'll see you there. See you, Kenzie. Moments later. Whoa, good for us. 10 minutes on the dot. You know, they always say punctuality is key. Who says that? I don't know, people. Okay, well, let's start looking around. The perfect shirt isn't just gonna jump out at us. We're gonna have to find it. Whoa, what about this? Sky, this is my first purchase I earned with money at work. Can't be something so basic. Keep looking. Uh, what about this? Uh, nope. What about this? Uh, what about that over there? Ick. For heaven's sake, girly, what do you want then? I'm sorry, I just want it to be perfect. What about this? Here, let me see that. That is so cute, girly. I love it. Wow, I love it too. You have pretty good taste, Sky. Well, I agree, if I do say so myself. This will be perfect to wear to school. I'm going to wear it tomorrow. The next day. Wow, girly, you really do look like a million bucks. I know, people always say it's not about how you look, but how you feel. And then it's what's on the inside that matters and blah, 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 blah. But I've really never felt better ever since I got this shirt. I really think clothes equals happiness. See, I've been telling you that for years. It's about time you started listening to me. Well, it just so happens on that subject, you're totally right. Early, I am always right. When are you going to realize that? Ew, Mackenzie, what on earth are you wearing? Oh, here we go. It's called a shirt, Ashley. Maybe if you paid a little bit more attention in class, you'd know what it was called. I know what a shirt is, you freak. Oh, that's good, Ashley, because if you didn't, I would be pretty nervous. Shut up, Ayla. Seriously, though, Mackenzie, where did you get that shirt? I got it from Rockstar. Why? Oh, I could have sworn you got it from the kids' club. I mean, really? Wearing pink is bad enough, but rainbows, too? I am embarrassed for you. You can say whatever you want, Ashley, but I like my shirt. Yeah, I'd like it, too, if I was a pink leprechaun. Yeah, a three-year-old leprechaun. That was actually a good one, Ayla, but I'm going to use it next time, but I'm definitely not going to give you the credit for it. Aw, Ashley, 
Wait, did you just give me a compliment? Don't get used to it. Good morning, students. It's getting closer to Christmas time. I was expecting you to all come to school dressed up in the holiday spirit. Whoa, really? We can start wearing our holiday clothes to school? Yes, you can wear whatever you want. Well, as long as it's school appropriate, of course. Oh, awesome. This is gonna be rad. Forget wearing Christmas clothes. I'm just gonna wear my new shirt again tomorrow. Ew, just wash it first, girly, and make your mom put those little scented laundry beads in, too. A few moments later. I have the most genius plan to what to wear for school this week. Ooh, ooh, what is it? Wait, let me guess. Ugh, you'll never guess what it is, you idiot. Mrs. Claus? Rudolph? An L? Mila, stop guessing. You'll never get it. And besides, it's not a costume. Oh, one of those DIY things? Or is it DIY? Just give up already because you'll never get it. But trust me, it's gonna be genius. Well, when are you gonna tell me? Ugh, fine, just follow me. Meanwhile... Why are we at Rockstar? I didn't know they sold Christmas outfits here. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not buying a Christmas outfit? Ugh, forget it, you're useless. Let me just do this myself. Um, hello? Are you gonna ask how you can help me? Oh, sorry about that. I was just finishing up an online order. Do I look like I care? Listen, I need a shirt. Well, you've come to the right place. Don't snark me, that's my job. Okay, listen, I need to buy the shirt that the loser bought yesterday. Um, I'm not exactly sure what you mean. What do you mean by loser in the first place? I love the Losers Club in the movie It, but I can tell you none of them shop here. No, ugh, why is everyone so helpless? The loser who was here yesterday. Blonde hair, dresses in all pink, you know, just an overall freak with a red-headed sidekick. She's actually really pretty. Shut up, Ayla, she is not. Oh! the girl who was here yesterday buying the rainbow shirt. Yes, that's her. I need to buy the exact same shirt. I think I have one more in the back. Wait here and I'll go get it for you. Um, Ashley, why are you buying Mackenzie's shirt if you didn't even really like it in the first place? Like I told you, I have a plan. The next day... I don't know if it's just because it's the second day that I'm just loving that shirt on you more and more. I know, isn't it great? I think there's just something special about this shirt. It really just puts the whole outfit together. Uh, Sky, what is it? I don't think you're the only one who feels that way, girly. Oh, look, I guess being a freak is a popular outfit this year. And here, I thought I wouldn't let you be the only one. <gasps> Ashley, why are you wearing the same shirt as me? Where did you even get it? Rockstar, even you told me where to go. Yeah, but why are you wearing it? I thought you said it looked like it was from, like, the kids' club or something like that. Oh, it does, but I needed it for it to be part of my outfit. What outfit, Ashley? Just your regular old bully? Oh, no. A loser. So you can see, Mackenzie, why I needed to copy your outfit in order to get it right. Get it? Because you're a loser. She bought the same shirt as you, so she'd look like a loser too. Oh my god, we get it, Ayla. <laughs> Wait, was it something I said? Mackenzie! Meanwhile. Oh no, how will I ever survive? 
one hour later. Mackenzie, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. I just wanted to tell you how nice it was for you to send me flowers when I was sick last week. Not every student would think to do that, but you did. You are the nicest and kindest student I've ever had in my class. Um, I'm sorry. Would you like to explain any of this to me? You know, those flowers that you gave me last week. Yeah, that wasn't me. I didn't give you anything. Mackenzie? No, Ashley. Whoops, my bad. I must have seen the shirt and the blonde hair. Well, never mind. Ugh, weirdo. Later that same evening. Hi, Mom. I care, Ashley. It's not like I've been counting down the minutes for you to get here. Sorry. Huh. What? Oh, nothing. It's just that you actually look good for once. Meanwhile. Ashley, what are you doing here? And if you plan on copying my pajamas, I will be putting them on for another hour or so. Ugh, why do you always have to make this so difficult? Me? Make things difficult? I've never made anything difficult for you. Look, I was coming to apologize to you, loser. Wait, that came out wrong. Listen, I'm Really? You are? Yeah, it wasn't cool, and I'm sorry. I thought it would be funny, but I guess it wasn't that funny after all. No, it wasn't. It really hurt my feelings. Well, I get that now, and that's why I'm saying sorry. Maybe it's the dumb shirt, but I think it's starting to rub off on me. What do you mean? Well, apparently, a teacher's words, not mine. You're actually kind of nice and sweet. Really? You think so? Again, a teacher's words, not mine. But maybe she's right just a touch. You are nice in a freak sort of way, and there's nothing wrong with your shirt. You know, being nice is kind of easy. If you want, I could give you some pointers. Don't push it, Mackenzie. Got it. So, are we cool? Are we cool? Ew, why would you think that? Because you just admitted that I was nice? Yeah, well, you are, but I'm still gonna bully you around other people. All right, fair enough. Okay, my lovely students, that about wraps up our discussion about photosynthesis. Now, before we move on to our daily show and tell, you will all be asked to write an essay on what you learned in class today. Ugh, come on! Well, Ashley, I for one am very curious as to how your essay turns out based on the rather colorful definition you just provided us. Whatever! I have a brand new Gucci bag and I need to get up in front of the class and brag about it, so let's go! I cannot wait to hear all about it, Ashley! Excuse me, Mr. Teacher Man, sir? Ugh, what now? Hold on a second, Ashley. What is it, Mackenzie? I just have a quick question about photosynthesis. Are you kidding? Hang on, Ashley. What's the question, Mackenzie? I guess I just don't really understand. If photosynthesis is a process used by plants and organisms to convert light energy into chemical energy to be used for later, are we able to use photosynthesis? Because technically, aren't we all organisms? Ugh, I am gonna kill someone! Excellent question, Mackenzie. No, plants, algae, and a certain group of bacteria are the only organisms capable of it. Now, does that answer your question? Ah, uh, yes, it does. I think I get it now. That's because they make their own food using light, right? Now you're catching on. Um, hello? Is it time for my show and tell yet? Oh, you know what? I'm really sorry, Ashley, but Mackenzie had such a fantastic question, and I guess my answer was a little too long. We've run out of all the time for today, so you'll have to go after everyone else has a turn. What? Now, Ashley, don't go blaming Mackenzie. It was a great question, and I'm glad I answered it. You're just gonna have to put your Gucci bag aside for now, okay? Oh, we'll see about that. Meanwhile... Hey, you freak! Over here! Just ignore her! Oh, come on, Ashley. Really? How old are we? Well, based on our actions, I would say like four, but based on her face, I don't know, because I don't think she's gonna age well, to be honest. Shut up, Sky. You really stepped in it today, Mackenzie. It's a Gucci bag, Ashley. I'm sure you'll survive. Oh, I am gonna get you back for this. I'm gonna get even. Sure you are. Just you wait and see. You won't know when it's coming. You won't know how it's coming, but it's coming. Ooh, we're shaking in our boots. Come on, girly, let's get out of here. Should I be worried about that? Psh, no, just ignore her. Ashley's all bark and no bite. If you say so. The next day... Remember? I know, but you stayed and watched. I thought you hated cheerleading. Well, yeah, but...
but I love my best friend who's a cheerleader. How did I get so lucky with a bestie like you? You know, I often ask myself the same thing. Uh-oh, warning, warning! What? They're coming this way! Hey, Sky! Wow, super great practice today. Uh, thank you? Yeah, like, you were incredible. I'm talking, Ayla, but you were totally incredible. And as your cheer captain, I see amazing improvement and potential. Oh, please. Do you have something to say, freak? Well, anyway, Ayla and I are just heading to Starbucks, and we were wondering if you would like to join us. The new dragon fruit drink is to die for. This is like a joke, right? You're inviting me so you can spill a pink drink on me? No! Why would we ever do that? Because you're you? Nonsense. I just want to bring my cheerleading star out for a Starbucks. Now, is that too much to ask for? Oh, well, I guess if you put it that way, uh, no, it's not. All right, we're in. Come on, girl. I can always go for a pink drink. Ooh, yeah, you see, slight problem. Mackenzie isn't invited. Sorry. Oh, well, in that case, thanks, but no thanks. I'm not going if my best friend isn't invited. Oh, well, you're lost. Come on, Ayla. Toodles. Well, that was weird, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Super weird. Later that same evening. Hey, Roblox game, and I am so way over in my head. Can you come over and help me? Uh, I would love to, but I'm actually not home right now. Oh, where are you? I'm at the movies with Ashley. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, I was just hanging out at home, and she called me and invited me. No way. Wait, you wouldn't believe it, girly, but she's actually pretty nice. Anyway, the movie's about to start, so I better go. Yeah, she's right. I don't believe it. Moments later. I can believe that this is happening. But if Ashley is gonna try and steal my best friend, I'm gonna have to see for myself. Ooh, candy. Wait, no, there's no time. Girly, what are you doing here? No way. Hey, Sky. Hey, Kenzie. Seriously, though, what are you doing here? You better get out right now or I am gonna call security. Oh, take a chill pill, Ashley. She's right, Girly. Why are you here? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm always happy to see you, but you weren't invited. Oh, well, I know I wasn't, but I was just hoping maybe I could talk to Ashley for a minute. I'd rather swim in a shark-infested lake. First of all, only freshwater sharks live in lakes. But that's not the point. It'll only take a minute. It's okay, Ashley. She's super cool. I'll be waiting right here when you get back. Fine. One minute. Meanwhile. You think you're so clever, but I know exactly what you're doing. And whatever do you mean by that? I'm serious, Ashley. You are not going to steal my best friend. I don't know what game you're playing, but Sky will not fall for it. That gullible loser? Yeah, doubtful. You listen up now. I warned you that I would get even. And you simply chose not to listen to my warning. It was just a Gucci bag, Ashley. Come on. It was my Gucci bag. And you better believe I am going to steal Sky away. I'm going to take something important away from you, just like you took something important away from me. And you're going to watch knowing there is nothing you can do about it. All because I took your show in tell slot? Are you really that shallow? You've known me since kindergarten. I think you know that I am. And the only reason you're doing this is just to get back at me? Yup. Isn't that reason enough? One hour later. It was cool I got to see you tonight, girly, but I'll be honest, it was a little weird you just showed up. Yeah, I guess. So, what were you and Ashley talking about anyway? It doesn't matter. Sure it does. Tell me. Fine. It's just that Ashley's only being your friend and being nice to you to get back at me. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, remember when I took Ashley's show and tell and she told me she was going to get back at me? Well, I think that's exactly what she's doing. I took her moment to show off her dumb overpriced purse and now she's trying to take the person I love the most. Hold up. So you think the only reason Ashley would ever want to be my friend and be nice to me is to get revenge on you? No, no, I didn't say that. But am I not cool enough or something for her? Is that what you're saying? No, of course not. But you have to admit, Sky, it is a little suspicious. I'll tell you what's suspicious. I finally started hanging out with the popular kids. And instead of you being happy for me like a best friend should, you're jealous. I mean, who do you think you are, Mackenzie? Um, who do I think I am? Who do you think you are? One of the popular girls? I'm sorry, but who would even want to be friends with Ashley in the first place? Maybe the girl who was so jealous that she had to crash our movie night. I wasn't jealous. I was just looking out for you. Oh, because I can't look out for myself. That's right. Would you stop putting words into my mouth? I never said that. Oh, you've said plenty, girl. Just like you assume someone as cool as Ashley would never want to be friends. 
friends with me, and that hurts. Cause of course the only way someone popular would want to hang out with Sky is if it's about Mackenzie. You know what? Ashley was right about you. Well, I can see why you guys are friends now. You're just as pig-headed as she is. Ugh, I'm leaving. The next day. What are you doing here, loser? I just want to talk to Sky. Well, maybe Sky doesn't want to talk to a freak like you. Do you think maybe Sky can talk for herself? No, she's right, Mackenzie. I don't have anything I want to say. Are you serious? She's as serious as a heart attack. Wait, what does that mean? A heart attack serious? Maybe you should find somewhere else to sit. I really don't want to talk. Yeah, take her advice and go, loser. Okay, that's it. I really need to do something. One hour later. Okay, everyone, I have thoroughly enjoyed your essays on photosynthesis. Ugh, what a bore. Although I'm still a little worried some of you think it's about photos that synthesize, not mentioning any names, <coughs> actually. Anyways, let's move on to today's show and tell. Mackenzie, I believe it's your turn. Yeah, about that. I was actually wondering if I could just pass my turn. What? You don't want a turn? Well, it's not that I don't want it. I was just wondering if I could give it to Ashley, since Ashley didn't really get to share the other day. Oh, okay. Are you sure you want to do that? Yeah, I'm fine with skipping my turn. I'm sure there will be plenty of time for me to share in the future. Okay, well, as long as you're fine with it, Ashley, would you like to take Mackenzie's turn? Yes, I'll take it! One hour later. So, Starbucks after school, as per usual? Ew, get away from me, freak! Huh? Ashley, it's a uh, mean sky! Yeah, I'm not blind. Now, ew, get away from me! Ashley, what are you talking about? It's me, sky. Remember? We went to the movies yesterday! Oh my god, she can like totally not take a hint. Yeah, I know exactly who you are, and I already got to show my Gucci bag, so now that that's done, you can get the heck away from me. Thanks, bye! Yeah, you're officially a loser again, bye! Hey, girly. So, I guess you're right. Ashley was only being my friend to get back at you, and then once she got to do her show and tell, she wants nothing to do with me. Sorry, Sky. I tried to tell you. I know you did, and I'm the one who should be sorry. I said some horrible things to you, and I just don't know what got into me. It was Ashley's influence. I don't take offense. Just being near her makes mean things pop out of your mouth. I guess. I can't believe I couldn't see what she was doing. And even more so that you were right all along. Thanks for always having my back, Curly. Aw, Sky, I'll always have your back. I don't know why you won't tell me where we're going. It's a surprise, Mackenzie. What kind of a surprise? It's just a surprise. Is it a big surprise? Yes, it's a really big surprise. I love really big surprises. Everyone does, Mackenzie. But I like them more. I like really big surprises more than anyone in the entire world. Well, that's ridiculous, Mackenzie. We all like really big surprises. No need to try and one-up everyone. I'm just telling the truth. Would you rather I lied? About this? Probably. Fine, we're all equal surprise lovers. Equally, we love really big surprises together. I can hear the sarcasm, Mackenzie. Good. I'm glad you didn't miss it. I thought my acting was too good for a second there. Mackenzie, stop being annoying. Never. So, what's a big surprise? I know you know that I'm not going to answer that. Whatever. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Whoa, a party? For you, Mackenzie. For moi? For you. Wow, this is amazing. What? Huh? Where'd the music go? And now, here to celebrate Mackenzie and Mackenzie only, Charlie the Milio. Charlie? Charlie? Oh my god. Mackenzie, you're the best. Ah, uh, so it bitch me. I must be dreaming. Ah, I'm the best. What? Oh, nothing. Just thinking about how amazing I am. You are one confident child. I just like to tell the truth. All right, just be prepared. This surprise is huge. Trust me, I'm prepared. A few moments later. Oh, uh, what's going on here? It's very nice to meet you both. Thank you for allowing us into your home. Oh, of course. So, what can we do for you? Well, many, many years ago, I gave birth to a beautiful child. Hey, that's me. And then I lost the baby. You did? How am I here then? And that very baby is your daughter. Me? Oh, boy. daughter, not you. Oh man. Are you talking about Ashley? Wait, what? Yes, Ashley. Hold up, did you just say Ashley? Bam, ho. Wait, what is she doing here? Oh no, please no. What is going on? Are you Ashley? Yes. Ashley, I'm your mom. Um, excuse me? You are my long lost daughter. It's true. We found you 
lost in the nursery at the hospital. What the heck is going on here? Mackenzie, meet your sister, Ashley. Sister? I feel like I'm gonna pass out, wake up, and then pass out again. Mom, Dad, what is happening? Well, Ashley, you're gonna live with these two random people. All right, now I'm really gonna pass out. Pack your bags, Ashley. You're moving in with your real family. I can't live with them. Mackenzie is a loser. What did you just say to me? Loser, loser, chicken. Ashley, dear, we would keep you. The problem is we have 13 children in only three bedrooms. We need to start getting rid of some of them. We hoped you would be at college by now. I'm still in high school, sadly. Wait, does this mean I get Ashley's corner of the room? It's precisely three inches bigger than my sleeping area. If I'm staying here, I'm getting her spot. Neither of you are getting Ashley's sleeping area. I'm gonna turn it into an arts and crafts space. But it's like Wide. Go pack your bags, Ashley. Yes, please do. Let's get to your real home now. I can't believe this. My life is over. One eternity later. Well, I guess you're gonna sleep in here. Ugh, it's bad enough I have to be related to you. Now I have to sleep in the same room as you? This is a nightmare. Agreed. Your room is just so gross. Thank you. We're gonna have to change it entirely. First, we'll get rid of your bed and replace it with my bed. We'll get rid of you and replace you with literally anyone else. I would rather live with the worst person in the world. Oh, wait. You are the worst person in the world. That's so funny. I'm laughing so hard. That's such a funny joke. You are such a comedian. I was being serious, idiot. I'm changing the entire layout of this room. I will not allow you to do that. It's too late. I just texted my friend. He's going to come in here and rearrange everything. You didn't even touch your phone. How did you text them? Wait, are you magic? Man. And you're just a bully, so there. Whatever, I hate you. I hate you more. I hate you, Infinity. Infinity? But there's no way for me to beat that. You lose. I did lose. Infinity is unbeatable. Exactly. Now go get me something to eat. Okay, wait. No, I'm not your servant. I'm not anyone's servant. I'm Mackenzie. Ugh, whatever. Man, this is the worst thing that's ever happened in the entire history of the entire galaxy. Ugh, what a terrible surprise. Moments later. Is that so? Yeah, they just couldn't stop adopting children. I ended up with 12 siblings. Wow, that's quite the obsession. I know, right? <laughs> Ashley, you are so funny. You know, I uh, once saw a famous person. That's great, dear. Now, Ashley, what was it like sharing your room with six other people? Oh, let me tell you. It was crazy. Oh, this is so stupid. A few moments later. So, you guys are related? It's crazy. I thought some huge party. But then I ended up at some random family's house learning that this monster is my actual sister. That sounds horrible. You know what's worse now? Ashley wants to change everything in my room. But your room is designed perfectly. We spent two years perfecting every single inch of that space. I know. That's why I missed my birthday last year. Exactly. Man, your life just went from pretty good to absolutely horrible. I'm glad I'm not you. I wish I wasn't me. I just Things are gonna be at school now. The next day. For school food, this stuff looks kind of good today. You say that every day and it's never good. It's called hope, Mackenzie. Let me be hopeful for once, okay? And she never cleans up after herself. So her room is absolutely disgusting. The entire house is disgusting. It makes me want to puke. Do you suppose she's talking about you? No, I don't think so. My house isn't disgusting. The worst part is how her toothbrush is. It has my pony on it and she's been using it since she was four. That's your toothbrush they're talking about. I'm really attached to it. What if it's like Toy Story and has feelings or whatever? It's my best friend. It's a toothbrush. This is ridiculous. She can't just come to my house and say mean things about me and my toothbrush. What should we do about this then? I don't know. I just want to get her out of my life. We could send her away like on a plane or a train somewhere. That sounds like a lot of work and money. True. What about the woods? The woods? in the woods so she never comes back? Exactly! Interesting! Later that same evening. This is such a stupid idea. Why are we even doing this? I'd rather be in jail than in here with you two. The feeling's mutual. Why'd you even agree to come then, Ashley? You could have insisted on staying back. In that disgusting house? Absolutely not. At least the woods don't have all your stupid stuff lying around. Wow, I really hate you so much. This is Let's set everything up here. Where even are we? I don't recognize anything around here. Oh, that's all right. We know this area like the back 
of our hands. We'll get you out of here tomorrow for sure. Yeah, don't worry. All right, whatever. Just go set up the tents or whatever. You're not gonna help us? You already know the answer to that, I think. Come along, Mackenzie. Let's forget about her and her lazy attitude. Whatever, just listen to your annoying friend, Mackenzie. Annoying? That hurts my feelings. Don't let her bother you, Sky. She's just a bully. All right, we'll hang out here today, and then when it gets dark, we'll just leave her here. Sounds perfect. This seems like a great place to camp, Ron Jr. All right, Dad. Oh, boy, that's not good. A few moments later. So camping here tonight then that's the plan it's a very pretty place isn't it that's right dad well actually i know a better campsite is that so that's right i can take you there if you like how does that sound ron jr it sounds absolutely splendid all right take us there young lady sounds like a plan hey where the heck are you going i'm taking these guys to check out a different place so they can camp a better place if you know a better place why aren't we camping there uh because i wanted to show you this campsite well that's lame because this campsite sucks that's too bad Ta -ta. three hours later is it nearby young woman yes is it yep we're almost there patience yes patience patience that's what i said you guys are weird you know that's right you're totally right Alrighty then i have no clue where i am going oh uh, what was that yeah what was that nothing we're almost oh me oh my this place is perfect huh what are you talking about your perfect camping spot what do you think ron jr it's perfect uh this is the middle of the street so flat and roady we shall pack up and stay here i don't oh uh, whatever have fun goodbye see you later little girl see ya Alrighty, time to go ditch ashley three hours later hey what's up you guys you've been gone for like six hours oh uh, i was bringing those guys somewhere whatever i don't care where's the food food oh man i forgot to bring food you are so dumb i'm gonna go see if the food i buried out here when i was a child is still there you buried food out here when i was a little kid yeah i knew something like this was gonna happen that food is definitely not there anymore you're just a grumpy person okay you really are a grumpy person whatever that's just what you guys think it's just what we see actually you never have anything nice to say and it kind of hurts you know what am i supposed to do be nice to you yes that's exactly what normal people do you know well whatever i just want to sit here in silence then all right fine <laughs> i hate silence say something why would i ever say anything to you listen i'm sorry i'm mean to you okay i just can't help it there's just something about you guys that just makes me so angry but i'm sorry well thank you apology accepted i'm sorry about all the mean things i've said to you even if you deserve them thank you you know it's nice having a sister i don't think i'll hate it as much as i thought if i'm being honest yeah i agree it was so there i knew it whatever i'm going to sleep <laughs> Next morning. Oh, good morning. Wait, where's Ashley? Wait, where's all our stuff? Well, that's disappointing. I can't believe she stole all of our stuff. What an evil thing to do. I guess we'll just go home and forget about her. I thought you said she'd change, become someone nice or whatever. I thought she had, but whatever. Let's just go. Moments later. Girls, you're back early. Where's Ashley? Oh, boy. Uh, where's Ashley? Uh, she wanted to stay behind. Check out the area. Learn a bit more about nature. Well, isn't that just splendid? Was it fun? It was okay. Kind of okay. We're gonna go upstairs and relax now. Sounds good. I'll send Ashley up when she gets back. Right, when she gets back. A few moments later. Hey, guys. I thought I'd get some pizza for all of us to share. That was such a fun night. Uh, Mackenzie, Sky, where are you guys? <laughs> Thanks. What is wrong? Not 
not sure. I'm just feeling kind of down today. I can't seem to shake it. Oh, no. Looks like you woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I woke up in the same place I always do. It's just an expression, honey. Huh. I wonder if this is those teenager growing pains that they talk about. Teenage growing pains? I've never heard about that. Sounds fishy. Just how it's sometimes hard to be a teenager and sometimes you just feel down. Oh, well, yeah, I totally get that. The whole growing up thing is just so hard. I do not remember signing up for it. Well, I don't remember signing up to be a mom to a teenager, but you don't see me complaining. Mom, you literally just complained, like right now. Listen, do you think maybe a sleepover with Sky would cheer you up? A sleepover with Sky? Yes, 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 of course it would. Wow, okay, now I know how to make you all cheerful and happy. A sleepover with Sky would literally be like the best thing ever. We could watch movies and do our nails and hair and eat popcorn. Oh! I need to go find Sky and ask her, like, right now. Kenzie, wait! What about breakfast? Sorry, Mom. I am way too excited to sit down and eat. I love you so much. Bye! Moments later. Boo! Hey! Don't sneak up on me like that, girly. I could have been carrying a weapon. Yeah, but you're not. Yeah, but I could have been. Anyways, what's up? Oh, nothing. Was just wondering if maybe you wanted to come over for a sleepover tonight. A sleepover? Yes, yes! Wow, this is the best day ever, and it literally just started. You're telling me. This is so sudden. I can't believe it. So, what promoted this? Usually, we have to spend a lot more time begging our moms before we can have, like, a sleepover. I don't know, but you can actually thank my mom for it, though. I was kind of in a bad mood earlier, so she suggested it. Why were you in a bad mood, girly? Honestly, I can't even remember why. I'm just so excited about the sleepover now. I'll tell you what, girly. Having a sleepover with your bestie can cure the worst of moods. Oh, you can say that again. I just said it. Why would I say it again? Meanwhile... I guess you can say I've been a bit of traffic jam on aisle five. Were any of your items damaged? Listen, I have eggs in my cart, so you better watch where you're going, lady. Hey, look, I said I was sorry, okay? There's no need to be rude. Ugh, you're right. I'm really sorry. Will you accept my apology? I mean, I don't really know you, but yeah, sure, apology accepted. Phew, what a relief. I'm usually not like this, but I had a tough morning with my daughter. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can relate. I also kind of had a tough morning with my daughter. She's just at that age. Oh, how old is your daughter? She's 12. <gasps> my daughter too! Man, what a difficult age it is. You're telling me. I don't know if I'm her friend or her enemy. I want to know what I can do to help her, but it's hard knowing what that can be because I don't really remember what it's like being a 12-year-old girl. Where does your daughter go to school? Brookhaven High. <gasps> Mine too! I wonder if they know each other. That would be such a small world. Hey, I'll tell you what. To cheer her up, I told my daughter that she could have a sleepover tonight with her best friend. Aw, that is so nice of you. She didn't give me that number one mom mug for Mother's Day for nothing. But why don't you have your daughter come on by? Maybe it'll help her feel better. What a fantastic idea. I mean, I just met you and you're a total stranger, so why shouldn't I have my daughter sleep over at your house? Perfect. I'll look forward to seeing her tonight. Meanwhile... Ugh, if only we could just skip class and then go right into our sleepover. Maybe school's what's putting me in such a bad mood. If only, girly. If only. I mean, I think we learn more life skills at a sleepover than we do at school anyways. You're right. We totally do. Um, excuse me, Ashley. I don't know if you're trying to loosen one of my leg chairs or put a whoopee cushion under my seat, but this is my spot. Um, duh. Glad you can see, loser. Well, how about you move before your butt meets the heel of my foot? Make me. Yeah, make us. Shut up, Ayla. I got this. Come on, Ashley. You know that's my seat. Can you please just move? Yeah, I've done my time in the back. I like sitting up at the front of the class all of a sudden. And now that I think of it, if anyone belongs in the back, it's you. So enjoy your time in the dungeon, loser. Please, Ashley. These have been our seats since school started. I don't want to switch. Too bad. So sad. Good morning, class. I am eager to get started this morning. But in order to do so, I need everyone to find their seats. Mr. Teacher Man, sir, Ashley and Ayla are sitting in our seats, and we try to get them to move, but they won't. Really, Mackenzie? Have you ever heard the saying, snitches get stitches? I think you girls are all old enough to handle this on your own. It's just a seat. I know, but there are seats. Well, we're not moving. Very 
are two seats in the back. Mackenzie and Skye, just go sit down. Ah, I can't stand this. I am so done with her. Relax, girly. It's just one day. No, I'm not talking just about this. I'm done with Ashley for good. I cannot take her anymore. Deep breath, Kenzie. We'll get our seats back tomorrow. I am just so ready for this day to be over and for us to just be at our sleepover. I do not want to have to deal with Ashley anymore. Preach, girly. Preach. Many hours later. Finally, it's as if this day was never going to come to an end. I know. Does sitting in the back of the class make time go slower or something? Hey, what happened to it's just one day? Yeah, well, that was then. Before, I had to sit in the back for eight hours. See, I told you. Hey, girls, how was school? Fine, now that it's over. Hey, Mom, do you think we could start the popcorn and get this sleepover started? Extra butter on mine, please. Let's hold off on the popcorn for now. Why? The only reason to hold off on popcorn is, oh my gosh, Mom, no, you didn't. Did you order pizza? What? No, no, I didn't order pizza. Well, then I don't get it. Why can't we start the popcorn? We have to wait because I invited another girl to sleep over with you guys. I'm sorry. My ears are acting up a little bit from sitting all the way in the back. You did what? Yeah, I met this lovely woman at the grocery store, and she had a daughter about your age who goes to your school, so I did the only logical thing and invited her. I'm sorry. You think that was the logical thing to do? Yes. What would you have done? Uh, said good day, walked away, and never saw her again? Girls, I am very disappointed in the way you two are acting. This is not the welcoming behavior I'd expect to see. Yeah, well, Mom, I'm a little more than just a little disappointed. I'm furious. This was supposed to be a cheer-me-up sleepover to make me feel better. Well, I'm not gonna feel better with just some random girl here. How come you just invited someone else without even asking me first? Listen, the poor girl is having a hard time, just like you were this morning. Oh, she's having a hard time? Yes, her mother was nearly beside herself. Now, I know how important this sleepover is to you, but I also know how you wouldn't want someone's feelings to be hurt. Yes, when you put it that way, maybe I do feel a little bad. You should. Imagine if you were on your way over for a sleepover and someone was having a fit that they didn't even want you there. Why would anyone have a fit that they didn't want us? We're awesome. Guy, not the time. Well, yeah, I guess I would feel bad. Exactly. Now stop only thinking about yourselves and start thinking about how to make this girl feel included. Hey, I guess it's alright if she comes as long as it means making someone feel better. That's my girl. One hour later. <laughs> for a sleepover. I don't know, Sky, but not a very good first impression if you ask me. Not at all. She's here! I wonder who it is from our school that's having a hard time. Do you think it's the kid with the weird hair or the one with the lazy eye? I don't know, but I guess we're about to find out. Oh no, it's a nightmare. Make her go away. Make her go away! Ashley, what are you doing at my house? Ew! Gross! When my mom told me I was going to a sleepover on the poor side of town, I should have known it was going to be at some loser's house. Wow, are you really going to call me a loser in my own house? Yeah, take another step, Ashley. I don't see your little shadow coming in to save you this time. Yeah, right. Like I couldn't take the both of you with a simple flick of my wrist, freaks. Uh, hang on just a minute. Wait, you're going to leave me alone with her? Hey, honey. Oh, is she here? Oh, she's here all right. It's Ashley, Mom. You invited my bully to my sleepover. No, maybe there are two Ashleys. That's all. I bet that's it, honey. I'm sure it's all just a big misunderstanding. It can't be the same Ashley who's tormented you for years. Oh, I'm sure. There's only one. You know how I know it's her? Because I can see devil horns poking through her blonde hair. <gasps> Mackenzie, what has gotten into you? What has gotten into me? This is the girl who puts me in a bad mood in the first place. And you invited that demon into my house. I think you're being just a little crazy. I had a long talk with her mom. She seems very nice, so maybe you have your Ashleys mixed up. Sorry, I just couldn't handle standing next to that freak for one more second. I'm standing right here, and I can still hear you. Nope, I'm pretty sure I my Ashleys correct. Hi there, Ashley. It is so nice to meet you. Your mom spoke so highly about you, so how are you doing? Oh my god, your voice is almost as cringy as your daughter's. Wow, now I see where she gets it. Listen, can we just get this over with? I... Beg your pardon? I'm not spending a night in a dump on the poor side of town by my own free will. My mother forced me to come and stay with you losers. Hey, Mom, yeah, can I borrow you for just a quick second? Meanwhile... Wow, that kid sure has a sharp tongue. See, now do us all a favor and get rid of her. You know, Mackenzie, I am disappointed in you for saying 
Max. You're disappointed in me? You let that little monster in our house. I know what I did. But even though Ashley has been a bully to you, she's having a hard time and you should be there for her. Why would I do that? Because you're the better person. Later that same evening. Ugh, why do you guys always have to watch movies made for babies? And what is this popcorn? I didn't know it was possible to buy it without flavor. Psst. Girly, you answer. I'm too afraid to speak. Whatever. I don't care what my mom says. I am so out of here because I can't stand the thought of sleeping over at a loser's house. So, just so you know, tomorrow I'm going to tell the whole school that you throw lame sleepovers. Uh, I'm going to go get a drink or hide. Either one. Look, Ashley, I know we're not friends or anything, but your mom told my mom that you were having a hard time. Shh, my mom is a liar. Okay, well, even if she's not, I'm kind of having a hard time too. Really? Yeah, high school is hard and it's definitely harder having someone bully you, but it's hard for all sorts of reasons too. Yeah, it's hard. Even if you're the one who bullies, it's hard. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. And even though we don't really get along, I'm still here for you. You know what? Maybe I'll stay for the sleepover as long as we can go back to hating each other tomorrow. Oh, don't worry. I'm counting on it. Let's just go get some ice cream, girly. Honestly, it's been such a terrible day. But ice cream is bad for you. But it's good for the soul, please. Okay, fine. I guess you have a good point, but you have to tell me what's up. I always do. Mackenzie? Yes? We're only going inside if you promise to tell me. Okay, okay, fine. I'll tell you, but ice cream comes first. A few moments later. Okay, we have the ice cream. Now let's hear it. And no more. Secret. You can tell me, girly. We're best friends. I know. It's just embarrassing. That's all. I won't judge. Okay, okay. So, I had a little accident in bed last night. A what? <laughs> it sounds like you beat yourself in bed, loser. What? No, that did not happen. Stop making up lies. And why are you spying on us during our private conversation? Yeah, what's your problem, Ashley? So not cool. Whatever you say there. I'm just glad I heard what I did. Laughing is good for the soul. embarrassing stuff and then make fun of you for it. <laughs> you won't find anything because I'm actually like literally perfect unlike you. Later that night. I'm gonna spy on her and see how she likes it. It's gonna be 24 hours of annoyance for her. Don't you think that's a little bit much, girly? I don't care if it is. She deserves it. I think you're a little overboard right now, Kenzie. Some might even say you're acting crazy. Well, it's a little too late now. Why? When does this magical 24 hours Start. 12 o'clock midnight. What the heck? That's like right now, Kenzie. Yeah, so shush. She should be coming out right about now. Hide, hide. Ugh, why are they always late? What on earth is she talking about? I don't know, but I guess we'll find out. Moments later. About time making me wait. Wait, what? We should go home. This seems weird and not good. No, no, we're not stopping now, girly. Oh no, Sky, we have to do something. What do you mean? You plan to follow them? Yes, what do you mean? Our scooters aren't fast enough, Sky. Hurry, and just help me for the love of God. We, and by we, I mean you should just give up. We're gonna steal a car. Come on, let's go. We have to hurry. What am I getting myself into? A few moments later. Where are they headed? This seems so fishy. Why are we doing this? Hey, back. That's why. So help me, God, if we die. Don't worry, Sky. We're not gonna die. It's not like Ashley is some psycho killer. You never know. Wait, I think they're going up to the Eagle Mountain. Isn't that like where the frat house is? Frat house? That doesn't make any sense. Why would she be going up there? Yeah, that makes absolutely no sense. Thank you very much. All right, it's go time, girly. We're going in. Okay, we've got to be very quiet, girly. I'm going to be real with you, Kenzie. I do not think that this is a good idea. Sky? Okay, fine. Good. Now, come on. Huh? Books? Okay, now she's not even here. She just disappeared. There must be a secret entrance. I feel like she's messing with us right now. There must be something somewhere. Ugh. One eternity later. Kenzie? Sky, you did it. Wait, I hear talking. We should be quiet. You're definitely right. Why are you so helpful all of a sudden? Because I'd rather not die. Yeah, good point. 
Sky, we should try and scare her. Good idea. Uh, this doesn't look good. What has Ashley gotten herself into? I can do that. You better not fail your mission or you will suffer great consequences for letting us down. And we mean it. This is no joke. I would never. <laughs> I love being evil. <laughs> what the heck? I told you this is a bad idea. Ugh, I wish I'd never gone involved with your crazy ideas. Me neither, girl. Ashley is basically like legit evil. I mean, we always knew that she was evil, but this is like legit, legit evil. I wonder why she's so rude. Kenzie, what are you doing? Why have we left? I want nothing to do with this. Sky, we need to stop her. We can't just go back to our regular lives. Yes, we can. No, because then they'll just do whatever they have planned. And who knows what will happen then? Okay, you make a good point, but why does it always have to be us? Because look at us, girly. We're like the best of the best, duh. Okay, but I better not die because I am way too young to die. I promise. The next day. I can't do this, girly. I need to sleep. We literally slept in a car. That I will never do again. You can't give it now, girly. Don't be silly. About time. What was she even doing in there? Probably sleeping. Yeah, something I couldn't get enough of because of your crazy ideas. Whatever. Come on. We gotta go. She's walking away. Yeah, she's with Ayla. Ayla is too brain dead to be part of anything evil. <laughs> Was this your useless attempt at trying to spy on me? Because if it was, it was horrible. You should just stop wasting your time, dweeb. Yeah, dweeb, you should just give up. You are so not cool. Wait, why is she trying to spy on you, Ashley? Why don't you just stop talking and shut up? Anyways, Mackenzie and Skye, I'll be at Club Brooks if you want to stop by and say hello. <laughs> Wait, if that's even getting losers. We need to go home and sleep. It's not like Ashley is going to be anywhere but... Club Brooks. No. No, no, no. I'm going to bed, girly. I'll see you later. Five minutes later. Excuse me? You're not allowed in. You're not VIP. Ugh, whatever. Three hours later. <laughs> this girl just fell asleep on the sidewalk. Just look at her. This is actually so cringe. <laughs> Long night, it seems. Let's wake her up and make fun of her to her face. Don't be an idiot, Ayla. Let's let more people see her and laugh. Good point. I always make good points. A few moments later. Oh, Lord. I told her so, but she just never wants to listen. Kenzie! Huh? What? Do you see yourself right now? What? What's going on? Mackenzie, you fell asleep on the dirty, gross sidewalk. But I am spaghetti like sadness right now. I can't move. Uh... All right. Are they still in there? No. Then what on earth are we waiting for? We've got to go find Ashley. Moments later. All right, Sky. Where's the magical door button? It's right over here. Ah, I got to remember that from now on. Well, they are down here. There must be some sort of clues, though. Kenzie, look over here. Look at this. Sky, what the heck did you just do? Magic, obviously. Duh. You really are the smartest person alive. Who are you? And what are you even doing down here? Um, uh... No, you know what? I am done playing around, girly. You better tell us what's happening, and I am not joking. Why would I ever tell you that? Because I said so. Because I would never tell you that my bosses sent Ashley on a super secret mission to rob the bank and then use all the money to pay people in Brookhaven to do as they want because they'll have all the money. Darn it. <laughs> Thanks for telling us all that. Yeah, you're literally the sweetest human ever for that. Save so much time, for real. Please, don't tell my boss. Oh, don't worry. We won't, as long as you don't warn them about us. Deal! Sky, look at the computer. It says that Ashley's at the diner. A few moments later. Okay, remember, we have to talk about adult things so we don't blow our cover. Like what? I don't know. The weather? The door better be unlocked tonight, or else. I promise you, you have my word. I don't care about your stupid word. Just make sure the door's unlocked. Later that night. That's her. Let's go. Wait, how do you know it's her? The person was wearing a mask. You can't assume things, Kenzie. Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious she's the only one who plans on robbing the bank. Okay, yeah, you make a good point. Huh? Where is she? By the vault, obviously. Drop it, Ashley. <laughs> You're funny. We mean it, Ashley. <laughs> oh, no. Did you hear that, everyone? They said they mean it. Take this. <laughs> Enjoy your nap. Freeze! Are you serious? You fell asleep while robbing a bank? Unbelievable. A few moments later. Huh? What? What's going on? You're under arrest? Hey, going. I thought your idea was foolproof. Well, regardless, you're under arrest. But it wasn't us. It was Ashley. We swear it by all the new candies and the old. 
Do you think I'm stupid? You're going to jail for trying to steal, and that's final. Later that night. Here you go. Where is the rest of it? In the car behind you. Good. Now, where's my reward? <laughs> reward? What reward? Shut up. I'll handle this. Handle what? So, uh, we just used you, and we anonymously sent George an edited video showing you robbing the bank. And to make matters even better, we called him anonymously, saying that you were here as well. Anyways, see you never! Ah! Oh god, you have got to be kidding me! You're on your arrest, Ashley! Freeze! The next day... I didn't do it! It was these other people, I swear! No, she was the one who stole everything, George! We saw it with our own two eyes! Yeah, she stole everything, George! We saw and then she knocked us out with some sort of gas. You have to believe us. Don't listen to them. They don't know anything. Well, I have you all on video, so save it for the judge. All right, you ready to go again? Yes, it's my turn to hide, and I know exactly where to hide. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, here we go. A hundred. Meanwhile... But mom, you know that having a pony is literally the most important thing to me. Please, please, please. I want to feel the wind through my hair as I gallop through the forest as a magical fairy princess. This is my dream and it has been my dream ever since I can remember. Mackenzie, we just don't have the resources to support a baby horse. A pony. Sorry, a pony. We cannot support a pony right now. It's just not feasible in any way, shape, or form. Well, this stinks. I hate it. Life without a pony is that for you. No, it's not. Oh, come on. Don't be dramatic. There's still other fun things that you love to do. Yes, but literally each and every one of those things would be enhanced by the presence of a pony. Oh, geez. I give up. Look, we just can't have a pony. And I'm sorry that that makes you sad, but I love you, sweetie. Maybe when you're older and you're making your own money, you can buy yourself a pony. It's not possible. We just can't get you one right now, okay? I'm sorry, sweetie, but we just can't. It's always when I'm older. It's never right now. Oh, I need a time machine. Meanwhile... Okay, this is taking too long. We should just give up and head over to Mackenzie, don't you think? I don't want to hide here for forever. It's getting boring. Good point. And also, how is she going to know she lost if we don't tell her? <laughs> yeah, she needs to know that she lost and we won. Yeah, she needs to know that she's the loser here. You lost! Yeah, you lost. You're the loser. Right, everything is just going wrong today. Yes, I lose, Sky, and I'm sorry. Who are you? Have we met before? What are you doing here? Excuse me? This is Carrie. She's new in town, and she's starting at our school tomorrow. But, Mackenzie, are you okay? Have you been crying? What's wrong? Did somebody get hurt or something? I really wanted a pony more than anything in the world. Guy, you know I've been dreaming of this ever since I was a little girl. Remember, right? That I've always talked about how much I've wanted a pony, but my mom just said I can't have one. Wow, boo-hoo, so you can't have a pony. Who cares? If someone offered me a horse, I'd be like, nay! <laughs> I'd be like, hey! Okay, I guess I'm just a joke to both of you. Whatever, you guys, I'm actually sad about this. This was my dream. It's not funny to make fun of someone's dream, especially if they were just crying about it. <laughs> to be fair, she would have ran away faster on a pony. <laughs> You're so bad. Meanwhile... Mom,
bit here. You're spinning a small situation into an out of control huge situation. I'll bet this Carrie girl was just feeling a little nervous about being the new girl, so she lashed out a little bit. I'll also bet that once you get to know her a little bit and she warms up to Brookhaven, she'll stop being so sour towards the people around her. But she was perfectly nice to Sky. Why was she only picking on me? Who knows why insecure people do what they do? You probably have something that she wants, like beautiful blonde hair, people that know you and love you in the town, and Sky as a best friend. There's a lot to be jealous of when it comes to you, Mackenzie. Well, thanks, Mom. I definitely know your bias in my favor, but it's still nice to hear. You're welcome, sweetheart. And you're right. Maybe even by tomorrow, she'll feel more comfortable and won't pick on me anymore. The next day... Uh, I hate geometry. Did they also have geometry at your old school, Carrie, or is it only at this horrible place? I'm pretty sure geometry is part of the government requirements. But if you ask me, that's pretty lame. Hey, how's it going? I'm complaining about geometry. I doubt Mackenzie's any good at geometry. Girls with blonde hair never are. I mean, I'm not very good at geometry, but I don't know what my blonde hair has to do with that. I just find blonde girls just kind of not as smart as the rest of us. Also, like, blonde is just such a weird color of hair. Who are you, Goldilocks? No, I'm Mackenzie. Sure thing, Goldilocks. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we gotta get to class. Later that same evening. Darn it, I lost the game again. <laughs> well, I guess that makes you a huge loser. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's right, Mackenzie, you're a loser. So, this is the new dance move I've been working on. I think we should put it in a TikTok together. It'd be fun, right? No way, you look like a snake trying to eat pizza. <laughs> do snakes even eat pizza? Looks like they do now. I don't even know what that means. It means that you should never, ever show anybody that move. It's horrible. Three hours later. The usual? Yes, thanks. Are you all right? You look sad, Mackenzie. It's not a big deal. It's just that there's this new girl at school, and she kind of stole my best friend. And now they're bullying me, like making fun of my dance moves and hair and stuff. And I know Skye. She's not like this. But just the new girl is, like, making her mean or something. I mean, I wouldn't let someone get away with that. Well, what do I do? Sweetie, you need to get your revenge on this person so that they learn their lesson to never mess with you. Really? Heck yeah! Let them know that Mackenzie is not the one! Interesting. Well, there is one thing I could do. The next day... Hey, Ashley! Hey, Ayla! Guess what? You know that new girl at school, Carrie? Well, she smells like ranch. What? For real? Why would she smell like ranch dressing? Because she's just totally obsessed with it. She puts ranch on every single thing that she eats. I've even seen her drink it on its own. Eww. Later that same evening. Oh man, my mom gave me peanut butter and jelly again. I need more for my lunch. This is so basic. Ugh. Basic? How basic? Like as basic as Mackenzie? Ew, something smells like ranch over here. Yeah, I guess it is true. What are you guys talking about? You, you're obsessed with ranch and that's why you stink like ranch all the time. Yeah, you're not salad. Why would you always have ranch on you? But I don't. Oh gosh, I can smell her breath. Ew. Later. The ranch thing totally bad. 
backfired and now her and Sky are even better friends and Sky won't talk to me. I succeeded in completely ruining my life. Oh, Mackenzie, I'm sure this isn't the end of your friendship with Sky. Life is long and people often get tired of being angry. Eventually, she will forgive you and you two will be thick as thieves again. I hope you're right, but I don't know. You should have seen her mom. She was so angry. Well, maybe you should do something to make up for what you did. Something nice, something kind. <gasps> something sweet! The next morning. Okay, I know you're both probably so mad at me, but I wanted to apologize. I never should have said all those things about you, Carrie. And Sky, you were right. I, of all people, know exactly what it's like to be bullied by Ashley and Ayla. And I never should have inflicted that onto someone else. So, to show the both of you how much I care, ta-da! I baked you cookies! Come on, Carrie, let's get out of here. I don't want to be around a mean person right now. Yeah, and also, those cookies don't go with ranch, and apparently, I don't need anything without it. Okay, well, I guess I'll just eat all of these myself. Ew, did you get a whiff of that? It smells disgusting. Ew, ew. I think she's eating moldy ranch right now. It smells like it went bad. You know you'll have to check the expiration date on the ranch, right? Before you go and pour it all over yourself in the shower. Oh, just be quiet, you two. She never smelled like ranch. I made that rumor up because I was mad at her. And you two were stupid enough to believe me. Now, leave her alone or else. Excuse me? Come on, Ayla. Mackenzie's having a psychotic break. Let's get out of here before she tries to physically harm us. Yeah, her eyes look crazy right now. Let's get out of here before she hurts us. Thanks, Mackenzie. Uh, thanks for defending me. Yeah, that was super cool of you. Now do you two see that I'm actually sorry and that I've learned my lesson? It never feels good to be bullied. You're right, and I'm sorry I was kind of mean to you for the first few days. I just felt insecure about being the new girl, and I wanted to make sure I wasn't going to be the one who was picked on, so I picked on you instead. Let's just make a pact that the three of us will never pick on each other, that we will be safe together, and that this circle is always bully-free. Done! Yay! Now, let's go celebrate! Break. I know just where to go. I've had this idea ever since you were crying about not getting a pony. Where? What? Is this gonna be what I think it is? Moments later. It is! Oh, last one is rotten egg! Hey, no fair! You had a head start! Would you like your rotten egg scramble or fry? Oh, in your dreams? No rotten eggs for me, but I would like pizza. Let's see what we have in the kitchen. Hey, guys! What's up? Ew, Chad, what are you doing here? Are you supposed to be in Blocksburg at school? Have a long weekend. Are you excited to see your brother? You mean my stinky brother who is now going to make the whole house stinky and not really? Hey, Mackenzie. What's up? Hey, Chad. Nothing much. Although, I will warn you, if you start to stink up this house, then I'm going to be leaving. And I'll go with her. You guys are too much. Hey, it's just about time for your end of the year prank at school. What have you guys come up with? End of the year prank? What's that? Oh, come on. You have to have heard about it. Chad, if this is one of those things that you make up just to mess with us, it's not funny. No, I'm serious. Once you get to middle school, everyone pulls a prank on their teacher at the end of the first year. People work on those pranks all year long. It's like a really big deal. Wait, seriously? Would I lie to you guys? Yes. Okay, yeah, I would. But I'm being being serious, pulling a master prank on your teacher before the end of the school year is like a rite of passage. I would tell you what mine was, but it kind of broke all the records and I don't want you to risk copying it. Sky, if this is a thing, maybe we should check it out. It might be fun and we're always looking for more ways to get involved in school. Yeah, once I look into it and make sure he isn't totally pranking us and make sure it's not his total master plan. Oh my gosh, if I was going to prank you two, I would come up with something much cooler for sure. You can believe Believe me or not believe me, but I'm serious. Pulling a master prank on your teacher is a thing, and I'd hate to see you miss it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna eat whatever you have left in the fridge because I'm still hungry after that leftover pizza. <gasps> you ate our pizza? The next day... Um, where do you think you're going? To class? That's where I'm supposed to go when the bell rings, right? Like, that's the right answer? No, you idiot. We're ditching today, remember? Was I supposed to remember? My god, Ayla, you're hopeless. We can't go to class today because we need time to work on our master prank. Kitchen is going to give us just the time we need to get everything ready. But what if we get caught? Don't be silly. It's totally a rite of passage. I think the teachers expect us to bitch to prepare for it. Whatever you say, Ashley, you're right about everything. And don't you ever forget it. Meanwhile. Hey, uh, have you been thinking about what your brother said? What did I say again, girly? My brother says a lot of stuff that I do know. About, like, the master prank on the teacher. Oh! 
rite of passage. And maybe, I don't know, maybe we should see what it's all about. It's not like we've really participated in real school spirit before. It could be fun. And that's your idea of school spirit? What? Do you have a better idea? I don't know. Hey, where are Ashley and Ayla? I noticed this class was awfully quiet. I don't know, and who cares? I don't want to risk saying their names in fear that it'll bring them forth. Hello there, students. Hello, Mr. Teacher Mincer. I can just imagine all the buzz that has been flooding through the halls about the master prank and I wanted to get to the bottom of it. Oh, great. Perfect timing. We're gonna get to go over it all anyways. Are you sure you didn't know, girly? Yes, guy. I can totally read the teacher's mind. Anyways, as I was saying, under no circumstances will any pranks be tolerated this year from anyone. <gasps> and just in case you think I'm not being serious, anyone who attempts to prank me or even makes a plan will be suspended for the day. Yikes. And to show just how serious I really am, whoever that person shall be, their entire class will miss out on this year's school trip, which happens to be to the amusement park. Oh no, not the amusement park trip. I've been counting on their cotton candy and roller coasters since the first day of school. So if you want to keep a suspension off your record, as well as be able to attend the trip of a lifetime, I will suggest you all give some serious thought to wanting to prank your teacher. S Sky, do you think your brother told us about this so we would do it and then get to Suspended? Oh, please, girly. We all know he's not that bright. Moments later. Oh, wow. Speak of the devil and they shall appear. Yeah, except I never spoke the devil's name, girly. Hey, why weren't you guys in class today? Oh, no, no, girly. Don't talk to them. This is what happens in monster movies. Um, excuse me. Why are you guys talking to us? I don't know if grades or getting into college is, like, important to you. But you really shouldn't ditch class. Well, we have to in order to get everything ready for this year's master prank on the teacher. What? Shut up, Ayla. You have got to be kidding me. No, it was Ashley's idea. And what exactly do you have in mind for this prank? Ayla, don't say another word. We're going to go to the teacher's house and we're going to TP it with toilet paper. Oopsie, sorry, Ashley. There is something seriously wrong with you. I'm embarrassed to be even seen next to you. No, 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 no. You guys cannot pull this prank this year. And why on earth would we listen to you or even do anything that you say? Listen, one of the reasons you shouldn't ditch class is because you miss important things. Such as the teacher saying anyone that attempts to prank him this year will be suspended. And then the entire class won't get to go to the trip to the amusement park. And some of us are counting on that cotton candy. Right, like I'm supposed to take your word that all that conveniently went down in the class that we weren't even in. Nice try! Wait, you think we're making it up? Us. Well, in spirit of a master prank, it would be just like you to try and prank us. Oh my god, are you hearing yourself? Dumb question. Of course not. Trust me, we're not pranking you guys. Under normal circumstances, I totally would let you guys pull it and then be suspended. No offense. And it's not just a suspension. You're going to ruin it for the whole class. And we care about the whole class because... Come on, Ayla. They're clearly making this stuff up. Yeah, later losers, we got a prank to pull. A few moments later... next year is to a cranberry field. Well, that settles it. This is the worst day of my life. I don't know, Sky. I just don't think in good conscience we can let Ashley and Ayla do this. What conscience? You seriously think those two have a conscience? You know what? If they were going to be punishing themselves, I'd say fine. Let karma handle the rest, but they're going to ruin it for everyone. I don't know if we have much of a choice, girly. Trying to get them to stop something is like trying to get a fish to walk on land, or it's something even harder. I'm serious. Keeping someone's house is always so wrong. Like, imagine if it was your house. I mean, granted, our teacher isn't the best, but nobody deserves to be picking toilet paper off of their shutters. Well then, what do you suggest we do? I suggest we go to his house and we stop them before it's too late. I was afraid you were gonna say that. That's like coming between a bear and a salmon. What do you stop with all the animal metaphors? We have a class trip to save and two bullies to stop. Question, girly. How on earth are we gonna find out where our teacher lives? I mean, it's not like he invites us to his parties. Easy. It's the house that gets egged every Halloween. I know just which one it is. Wow, it sounds like kids really do take this master prank thing to the next level. Meanwhile. What's the plan, actually? Oh my god, are you pathetic? You don't even know how to throw toilet paper on someone's house. Yup, aren't you so proud? Oh jeez, come on. We'll get the trees on the outside and then I'll pick the lock and the toilet paper will go inside. He's not gonna know what hit him. Wait, stop! Ashley, you can't do this! Ugh, I knew I smelt loser. At least we have enough 
toilet paper to clean them up with. What on earth are you guys doing here? <gasps> Did you follow me? Oh, don't flatter yourself so much. We have so many better things to do with our afternoon. Right, girly? Not the time, girly, but right. We're here to stop you guys. We can't let you ruin this for the whole class. So, if you want to go ahead and destroy the teacher's house for some lame prank, then you're going to have to go ahead and go through us first. Wow, challenge accepted. Good thing I know a thing or two about picking locks. No, Ashley, don't. What are you waiting for, girly? Follow her. Okay, Ashley, I don't know exactly what you're planning, but just put the toilet paper down and we'll figure this all out. Ugh, just go away, loser. Go wait outside since you're too chicken to pull this off anyways. Um, I don't think not wanting to destroy your teacher's house classifies as chicken, but okay. What did you do, you freak? Look, the door won't even open now. Me, I didn't do anything. I don't even want to be here if you recall. Well, now the door won't open. Meanwhile, it will sure take me a long time in there. Maybe I found something super cool, like a treasure. Yeah, I kind of doubt that. Hey, Sky, we're locked in here. Really? Yes, we're locked in. This is an Ashley situation. I'm locked in with Ashley. Oh my god, don't panic, girly. I'm gonna get you out. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? If this is not you panicking, I'm seriously worried. Ayla, you have to get me out of here. Being trapped with a loser for a long period of time and her loserness can start to rub off on me. What if we go to the police station and ask for help? No, you can't. Remember, we're not supposed to be here. If you get anyone involved, our teacher will find out for sure. And our amusement park trip is as good as canceled. So what you're saying is we do nothing? Just stand watch and make sure nobody comes in until we figure out a way to get out. Three hours later. Uh, what time is it now? I don't know. It's not like I have a watch in here. Look, we're stuck in here together. You don't have to be so mean. Yeah, well, you're the whole reason we're stuck in here in the first place. Um, I'm sorry. How do you figure that? If I came in by myself, I would have been gone by now. The whole reason this even happened is because you followed me inside. Um, maybe the reason I followed you inside is to help you from getting in really big trouble, even though you do nothing but bully me, which I'm starting to see now is a really dumb thing to do. Warning, girly. Warning. Oh, wait. Too late. What on earth is going on here? Why are you guys in my house? Uh, Mr. Teacher Man, sir, we heard someone was going to come toilet paper your house for their master plan, so we ran over here to stop them. Yeah, it was Mackenzie's idea to stop it. I was going to let them do it, but Mackenzie couldn't let the whole class miss out on the amusement park. Well, if you say so, Ashley, I believe you. Gee, thanks. But I must know, who was planning to cover my house in toilet paper so they can be punished properly? Yes, uh, hi there. I can answer that for you. It was my brother, Jack. You ever wonder what life would be like without someone in it that just torments you? What do you mean, girly? Like someone who is just the worst and causes so much pain and sorrow and just ruins your life. You gotta stop being cryptic, Kenzie. Who are you talking about? Ugh, who else would I be talking about? Uh, I'm not sure. Ashley, I wish she didn't live in Brookhaven because she is actually the worst human being to ever live. Enough of this silly dog, girly. We're going to the arcade and then the movies to take your mind off of things. Moments later. So, which game should I kick your booty in next? Yeah, yeah, you just got lucky, girly. Don't forget that. Oh my god, that's the girl who was on Ashley's story. <laughs> she looks like an even bigger nerd in person. Hey, nerd face. Just ignore them, girly. They're meanies. I'll try. Hey, nerd face. I know you can hear us. Who's your nerd friend? Sky, can we please go? Yeah, let's go to the movies. Oh, don't go crying about it. <laughs> A few moments later. Popcorn! With extra butter? What kind of question is that, girly? A silly one, I guess. You got that right. <gasps> it's empty. No way. We get the whole theater to ourselves. Hey, don't forget about me. Ah, you can't just do that. I'm sorry. It's fine. What a weirdo. Who does that? I know, right? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. I don't think they noticed us. Good. And let's keep it that way. Three hours later. Wow, that was a great movie. Hold on, girly. Just sit back down and let them go first so they don't notice us. Good idea. Oh, if it isn't nerd century. Ugh, why don't you shut up and leave us alone, Ashley? Or what? You're gonna go cry to your mommy. Yeah, a little cry, baby. No way. I gotta film this. Let's just get out of here, Kenzie. The next morning. Ah. Ugh, whoever this is needs to stop. Ugh, this better be good. Hello? Girly, if you're phoning to ask me to guess 
what? No, girly. Listen, this is serious. This is urgent. I'm not joking. What is it? Ashley went missing last night. My bully went missing? Yeah. Woohoo! Oh, Kenzie, it's not good. Just put on the news ASAP. Huh? What? What do you mean? Just turn on the news, Kenzie. I'm serious. Uh, what is going on, Sky? You're scaring me. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. A local icon and pillar in the community went missing last night. Ashley is missing and no one knows where she is. She went missing right after she left the movie theaters, but luckily someone was able to film her last known location. It's a video of Mackenzie Turner saying she hopes she goes missing. If this isn't getting caught red-handed, I don't know what is. Before I play this video, I just want to issue a trigger warning before playing this bone-chilling video. What? They're blaming me? Did you do it, girly? You know I'll have your back no matter what. I would never. How could you even think that, Sky? Mackenzie, George is here and he's saying you're responsible for Ashley going missing. What is going on? Listen, girly, I gotta go. I didn't do anything. Please just make this go away. Please just have this be like a really bad dream. I do not want to go to jail. Please, you are under arrest for the disappearance of Ashley. What? Because she's the number one suspect of them all, that's why she's the most sus of them all. She's the sus queen. Moments later. This is no good. I am not okay. If you just tell me where Ashley is, you can go home. But I don't know. Don't lie to me, Mackenzie. Just tell me where she is and everything will be okay. But I don't know anything. Fine, sus queen. Be that way. But just know you'll be staying here for a very long time. No! The next day... So I can talk to Mackenzie alone, please. I need to be here. Stay here. I'm not leaving her sight. If you want to help, then I need you both to leave right now, or else it's going to get worse. And you. Who? Me? Yes, you. Stay out of trouble. I would never. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Now get the both of you. Mackenzie, I need you to talk to me so I can help you. I didn't do it. Are you sure? Yes, I'm completely innocent. You have to admit, you do look very guilty. And if you're honest with me, I can help you. I am, I promise. Meanwhile. There must be some clues here to help find Mackenzie. But there's. I don't care if there isn't enough evidence, you dweeb. You arrest her and name her as a suspect, just like we said. You saw the video. It's definitely her. Who else would it have been? Mackenzie has always hated my daughter. <gasps> Of course! Ugh, why is George so useless? A few moments later... I don't know what to do, girly. I'm stuck in here, and I can't do anything. George is pretty useless. You know that. I'm definitely gonna have to do some detective work so I can get you out of this mess. Thanks, girly. I'm really gonna need it. She's always so mean. It just ruins my day all the time. You can't let her do that anymore. You just have to start laughing when she makes fun of you and ignore her. Getting angry only gives her more power. She literally just ruins everything that's good. Yeah, she definitely does do that. Well, I'm gonna go to bed now. I guess I'll see you tomorrow, girly. Yeah, night, girly. Let's see his house. Hey there. Ah, please don't hurt me. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just need you to answer a few questions. And if I don't? Then I'll haunt you for the rest of your life. Okay, I'll answer anything you want. Why did you take that video? To get lots of views on TikTok? Uh, of course you did. Ugh, this is a waste of time talking to you. Ugh, this better work. <laughs> Meanwhile... Mackenzie? Yeah? Your first court appearance is tomorrow. Wait, so I find out if I'm guilty or not? No, it's just to meet with the judge. Oh. The next day... Mackenzie Grace Turner is being charged with the disappearance of Ashley, and I would strongly recommend that she stay in jail because she is most certainly guilty. Objection! Please don't make any assumptions, not cool, bro. Fine, fine. All these silly rules in the court. Do not mock the court. Ugh. Ooh. Three hours later... Hey, I'm terrible.
about this. Yeah, clearly. But I am not giving up anytime soon, girly. Don't you worry. I am trying my best. Well, you need to hurry, girly, because I'm getting really scared. Don't worry. I'm pulling an all-nighter. Huh? What are you doing here? Yeah, why don't you go eat another donut, George, and give us some privacy? I'm taking Mackenzie back to the jail cell. You can't do that. Yes, I can. The doc said she's clear to go. Don't worry, girly. By tonight, everything will be all Gucci. I hope so. Later that same evening. I can't believe I didn't think of this earlier. This will definitely have all the answers. Time to rewind this bad boy and get what I need. Ugh, why is this taking forever to load? <gasps> Finally. Ugh, just like Ayla said, she goes back inside. Now let's fast forward a little bit. <gasps> Wait, what's going on? The footage has been deleted until the next morning? George totally needs to see this because it definitely proves Mackenzie's innocence. Oh, this guy's right. The less I think about her, the better. Hey, sweetie. How was the movie? It was okay. Why just okay? Well, the movie was great, but Ashley was there and made my night terrible, like always. Of course she did. She's actually the worst. I had a bully when I was younger, too, you know, and it was the worst. And how'd you make her stop? When she moved away, it all stopped. I wish that would happen, but that is so unlikely. So I guess I'll just have to keep dealing with her. Oh, come on. Don't cry, sweetie. Everything will be better in the morning. I promise. Uh, I need to do something about her once and for all. Come on, Sky. Please find something soon. I'm counting on you. I got it. I got it. I'm coming to free you, McKenzie. Don't you worry. Uh, 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 why is running so hard? Don't worry. I'm coming, girly. I can't believe I cracked the case. McKenzie. McKenzie. Sky, what are you doing here? McKenzie. right now before I arrest you. Ha! Well, I have all the info I need to free Mackenzie. Is that so? Let's watch this video then. A few moments later. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Yeah, this isn't funny. Because this is not prove Mackenzie being not guilty. If anything, this info will definitely help convict Mackenzie. Looks like your final court date is tomorrow. Oh, boy. Oh, no. I am so sorry, girly. The next day. I find the defendant, Mackenzie. No, please! I didn't do it! Justice has been served! I did it! Huh? Mom? I erased Ashley's memory and moved her to Blotford so she can never hurt my baby girl ever again! You are under arrest, Mackenzie's mom! Not if I have anything to say about it! <laughs> if there's one person that you wish you could transform, who would it be? My bully's transformation, duh! Because then she would be way nicer and not a bully! Which one, though, girly? Ashley, of course. Ayla doesn't really count because she just follows what Ashley does. Okay, that's a good point. Great pick, by the way. Who would you pick? I have no idea. Maybe I'll go with Ashley, too, just because life would be so much easier if they weren't crazy bullies all the time. Uh, at least we have dreams, girlies. At least we have dreams. Meanwhile, I will try my best to grant this transformation wish for Mackenzie, but actually, we will have to do most of the work. What in the hickety heck are you? You're not a person. Well, duh, silly Billy, I'm the transformation fairy. The say what fairy? Huh? What are you on about flying wing thing? This conversation is over, Billy the Hillbilly. Later that same evening. I can't believe we have this lake all to ourselves, girly. Right? A few moments later. What's taking so long? I don't want to lose my skin. We're going to look like aliens with no skin. Please, doctor, are we going to be okay? Don't pretend like you don't know. Sell it to us straight. Well, it looks like you both are dying. We're dying? No! Dying to find out what's wrong. What? Why would you confuse us like that? To 
break the ice. Well, anyways, I think you both have been pranked because there's no poison. Plus, no one poisoned the lake. Oh, phew. Moments later. I'm scared. Ah, quit taking so long. I'm scared, though. Ah, shut up. How does that sound? I don't care if you're scared. Now go right now. <laughs> A few moments later. Ayla, watch this. Here's your coffee, George. Thanks for the coffee, sucker. Hey, uh, that's not yours. Come back here, Ashley. No. <laughs> moments later. This movie sucks. Boo. Sit down. People are trying to watch a movie here. Who cares? They break up anyway. <laughs> For people. A few moments later. Ashley, what are you doing? Chill, I'm the cheer captain. I can do whatever I want, coach. Um, no, you can't. Well then, good luck without me. Three hours later. Ugh, this is so gross. How is everything tasting? This is so gross. <gasps> Ashley! No, it's okay, miss. Uh, would you like me to get you something else? No, but I'd like my mother to shut up. And I'd like to leave because everything here sucks. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Having you as my mother, that's why. Later that same evening. Well, I've heard quite the stories today about Ashley. Sounds like she's on a bit of a bullying rampage. That doesn't surprise me. I guess there will be no transformation for Ashley. It was worth a try, though. Nope, you can say that again. Several days later. Please. Meanwhile... Oh, what? What's going on? It's not looking good. Huh? What? Where is everyone? You have no one. They all left you years and years ago. They stopped liking you and just left you here. Oh, right. Give me a second. I'm being paged in the other room. Ah, who the heck are you? I'm the transformation fairy. Duh. Say what? Uh, it doesn't matter. What? Me. Because this is you in the future. Every path you've taken has led you right to this spot today, alone and lame. Really? This is me? Jeez, I look terrible. Well, and you're alone too. Yeah, that is pretty sucky. Future Ashley, you need to change your ways if you don't want to end up like this. You're super lucky to have survived that fall, and even luckier that someone was there to call an ambulance. What? Uh, where is everyone? No one's here. You're all by yourself. Who saved me then? Was it Ayla? Nope, it was just some random. Oh, uh, is my mom here at least? No, I called her, but she says she doesn't care, and that you can figure it out for yourself. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so anyways, you can leave whenever. I can't believe that dream was right. I have to change. A few moments later. Mom! What do you want? Why were you at the hospital? I almost died. Do you not care about me? You're just the worst daughter and are always so mean. So why should I come if you're just going to be mean anyways? I see. Moments later. Meanwhile, knock knock. This better not be one of those super cheesy knock knock jokes. Oh boy, look who's coming over. Oh, our day is so ruined now. Hey girls. Hi. Me and Ayla wanted to see if you both wanted to hang out. What's the catch? No catch. I just wanted to be friends. I see. Please, I promise I'll be nice. Let me just talk to Sky for a second. No problem. Yeah, take your time. Should we do it, girly? I don't know. I mean, I see what's the harm in it, but it is Ashley. But on the other hand, maybe our wish came true because she really seems like she's trying. So if she's trying, we can't just shut her down. We've got to be nice right back. Okay, I agree. All right, then it's settled. We're down. Yay! A few moments later. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, sure. Um, well, I hope she doesn't mess with our drinks. That's a good point. Meanwhile. Hey, can I get a... You're not welcome here. Please leave. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, where's the drinks? They said uh, I'm not allowed in there anymore. It's okay, girly. We'll go in there and get the drinks. Wait, really? 100%. Come on, Sky, let's go. A few moments later. Woohoo! Oh, there's no way you're beating my high score. Oh, yeah? Watch me. Yeah, I'm the master, though, so fight amongst yourselves and send me the poor soul I'll have to crush. If anyone's the master, it's me. Oh, no way. Yeah, I don't believe it. She's actually really good. Probably the best there is. Ashley, stop screaming or you're getting kicked out. Uh, I'm sorry. But she wasn't the only one screaming. I don't care. She's the one that can't scream. Everyone else can. I'm watching you, Ashley. Three hours later. Marco! Polo! Polo! Guy, you have to say polo, silly! Polo! <laughs> Got you! <laughs> Ashley, you're in big, big trouble. Get over here right now. You're banned from the lake for stealing my coffee. For how long? The entire summer. No! It's okay, Ashley. We'll just go and hang out somewhere else. A few moments later. Wow, it's such a beautiful view from up here. I know, right? Bad memories. Bad memories. Ah! <gasps> moments later. Huh? A few moments later. Mom? I'm not talking to you. Leave me alone. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Mom. Sorry isn't gonna cut it. For all the meanness, you are dead to me. <laughs> Meanwhile. I can't believe it, girly. Me neither. The transformation actually worked. This is so amazing. What? What's so amazing? Um, uh, nothing. Ashley's transformation. We wish that she would change. Right? Isn't it the best? I hope she never changes back. The next day. Hey, losers. Huh? Who are you? I'm the new bully since Ashley became a loser like you girls. And you better watch yourselves because I'm coming for you now. And I'm going to be way worse than Ashley. Oh, boy. Hey, leave my best friend alone. Look at what you've become, Ashley. It's so sickening. You're lucky I'm not angry right now. But I'll deal with you later. Bye-bye, ladies. Hey, uh, what did I miss? The biggest and meanest bully ever. Moments later. It feels so weird not being the bully. Yeah, I agree. Mackenzie and Sky told me that they wish for your transformation. <laughs> they did what? Meanwhile. Dance, dance, dance like it's the last, last, last transformation of the night, night, night. Oh, hey, boss. Have you ever heard of the butterfly effect? You can't save everyone, especially someone like Ashley. Change it back right this instant. Moments later. <gasps> I didn't know that you were in this class, Ashley. Shut up, both of you. I'm only here to tell you I haven't changed, and the bully is coming back again, but way, way worse than it was ever before. Oh, that was fun while it lasted. We had a good thing going. Don't you just wish that you were good at sports sometimes? Nah, not really. Sports are really lame. No, sports are so much fun. Are you having fun right now? No, but that's because... Ow! <gasps> Carly, Carly, are you okay? I'm in so much pain, Carly. I think I broke my leg. Nice move, loser. Yeah, you little cry baby. Shut up, Ashley. You should What happened? Ashley. What she was saying was that she tripped and fell, and I helped her break her fall, so she didn't hurt herself as much. You have such a kind heart, Ashley. Wait here, Mackenzie. I'm going to go call the hospital. What? No, that's not what happened. She's lying. Don't worry, Mackenzie. You don't have to be embarrassed. Moments later. I'm so embarrassed, girly. The whole class saw me crying like a little baby. Don't be embarrassed, girly. Literally anyone would cry if they fell like that. It looks like you have a really bad broken leg, Mackenzie. You'll need to be in a wheelchair for the next little while because you can't walk. See, literally every single person would cry if they broke their leg. I guess. Jeez, Girly, why is your phone spazzing out? I'm getting like a million of notifications. Girly, I think my TikTok just blew up. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be famous. Holy moly, Girly, we're gonna be famous. Oh, never mind. What do you mean, never mind? A 
Kayla posted a video of me crying online, and now it's literally being reposted everywhere. So what? Who cares? What do you mean? Millions of people have seen that video now, and they're commenting mean things and making fun of me. Don't worry, girly. You know how keyboard warriors are. They say all these mean, hurtful things online, but they'll never say it in person. It's just to make themselves feel better about their terrible lives. Ugh, I literally wish nothing but terrible things to happen to her. The next morning. Oh. I can't wait until I can walk again. Ouch, that must have hurt, eh? Shut up, Ashley. What are you gonna do about it? You're the worstest, most horrible person in the world. <laughs> the crybaby strikes again. <laughs> Good one, Ashley. Meanwhile. Don't worry about her. She's literally the worst. I just wish Ashley was dead so all of my problems would just go away. <gasps> Girly, you shouldn't say that. Wishing that is super bad. You need to take it back. There's no way I'm taking that back. I don't care. You're gonna regret saying that. Moments later. Be at the spot waiting. I'm not gonna tell you again. This is gonna take a lot of work to execute, so don't mess it up. Ashley, get to class right now. You can make phone calls later. Don't mess this up. Relax, that phone call was literally life or death. Later that same evening. Ugh, what is taking her so long? Ugh, finally. What took you so long, Mom? I had a meeting. But a fellow Brookhavenite. Ashley and her mother were on their way home from Ashley's school when someone drove right into their car. Ashley's mom was rushed to the hospital and is in critical condition. Unfortunately, Ashley passed away. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Meanwhile, I hate not being able to walk. Oh, I hate you, Ashley. <laughs> What's up? Ashley died! What? My bully died? Are you serious? Yes! Just now! That is so sad, but I think my life will be a lot easier now. I won't be getting bullied as much. I feel relieved. I told you you shouldn't have taken that wish back. Hey, it's not my fault that happened. You wish it though, which means you had a part in it. That's how the universe works. Never ever wish those things, even on your worst enemies. You're acting all weird, Sky. It's not that deep. Whatever you say, girly. The next morning. <laughs> It's okay, her mother is here. What happened yesterday was very sad. One of our own was taken from us. So if anyone needs a day of mourning, it's okay. You're free to go home if you wish. School is being put on hold for the day. Also, Ashley's mom is holding a funeral. Moments later. We're going to that funeral whether you like it or not. But why? Because part of it is your fault. I don't care, Kenzie. We're going. Ugh, fine. Later that same evening. Yeah. Later that night. Oh, what is going on this time? Oh, she posted a video saying that I wish that Ashley was dead. Oh no, everyone's texting me, getting all angry. Oh no, 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 this is not good. The next morning. I can't see you are the worst person in the entire world. And I'm going to make sure that everyone knows it forever. Girly, can we go home? Everyone's being mean to me. This is even worse than when Ashley was the one bullying me. Can't skip class. Everyone, I would like to interrupt class to introduce Brookhaven High's newest student, Ashlyn. Moments later. Yeah, that's the girl that wished my best friend was dead. She's the worst person ever. Like, ever. On the entire planet. Yuck, she smells like poop too. Hey, poop face. Hey, Sky, you seem cool. You should stop being friends with that murderer. I didn't do anything wrong. That's what all losers usually say, loser. <laughs> You're so funny, Ashlyn. Of you crying like a baby. My whole family did actually, and we made so much fun of you. <laughs> you really want to be friends with her after what she did? Everyone is gonna hate you. Later that night. I never want to leave home. That way, no one can even bug me here. It's the only place that I feel safe. Oh my god, no wonder why you're a loser. You're hosting.
thanks. Exactly like you. Oh, leave me alone. <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. Who are you and what are you doing in my house? Did you seriously just come down here with a broom to protect yourself? <laughs> are you going to sweep me away, broomer? Don't make me use it, twerp. Don't worry, I'm leaving. You can go back to sweeping, broomer. Five minutes later. Oh, hi. Uh, hey, Mackenzie. Hey, girly. Can I come inside? I really need to right now. Uh, I don't think so. What? Why not? I just don't think it's a great idea, Mackenzie. Why? Because of what you did. Don't get me wrong. I never liked Ashley. But to wish someone dead and then them ending up dead like the same day, that's terrible. It's literally all your fault. Oh. And I'm not really sure if I want to be friends with someone like that. I think I need a few days to think about it. Oh. Yeah. Have a good night, Mackenzie. Hey, Sky. I'm here for the slumber party. <laughs> Later that night. Whatever happened to you, it's not my fault. Why is everyone forgetting how bad she treated me? She literally bullied me 24-7. How fair is that? Ugh, nothing is even open down here. Oh, what? The arcade's open? Interesting. I guess I'll beat some high scores. Moments later. Oh, my God. High score. High score. I beat the high score. Whose high score did I even beat? Oh, I beat Ashley's high score. I guess it is pretty sad that she's gone. Wishing her to be dead was an awful thing to do. I should have never done that. Never wished death on anyone because that's permanent. Hey, what are you doing in here? It was open. I don't care. I'm sorry. Just this past week has been awful. Uh, what's wrong? Well. One pathetic soap story later. And now my life has just been totally ruined. That does sound pretty awful. Well, keep your head up high. Everyone makes mistakes. As long as you try your best to fix them and be a better person, then everything will be okay after a little bit of time. But... One question, uh, who are you talking about? Like, as in Ashley, the rich one who's kind of super mean to people? Yeah, her! She's not dead! What do you mean? That literally makes no sense! I saw Ashley here the other night with Ayla! What?! The next morning... Sky, come outside! It's urgent! Please, you have to listen to me! Uh, what's up, Kenzie? Is Ayla here? No, why? Because I saw her at your door last night saying that she was here for a slumber party! He must have been doing that to mess with you! Anyways, was that everything? It's super early in the morning and I'm tired! No, that was just a side note! Ashley is not dead! The arcade owner told me! Are you sure that's true? Just trust me, please! Sky, are you coming or not? Okay, okay, I'm coming! Thank you for trusting me! I don't trust you! I'm just doing this as a favor! Okay! How are you gonna prove this, Kenzie? I've been so blind this entire time! I mean, we all have! Ashlyn is Ashley! So when we go to Ashley's house, it's not gonna be Ashlyn anymore! It's gonna be Ashley because it's the weekend! If you're wrong, Kenzie, our friendship is over! I promise! Moments later... I knew it! Ha! See, you haven't been dead! It looks like you did catch me! Well done! <gasps> Why did you do it? Because you wished it. So I just wanted to show you how awful your life would be without me. I wish Ashley was dead. Mackenzie, you can't wish that. Perfect. Now let's see how much she wishes that once I'm gone. What do you mean? I'm going to fake my own death and make sure everyone knows she wished for me to die the same day I die. So then everyone hates her and then I'll pretend to be someone new and bully her even more. That is so genius, Ashley. I know. Thanks for giving us the proof we need, Ashley. Huh? What do you mean? Sky has been filming this the entire time. Whatever. No one will care anyways. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. Boy, do we have some crazy news for you today. Ashley faked her own death. And the reason was for Mackenzie to feel guilty and for everyone to hate her and make her life worse. I urge everyone to apologize to Mackenzie when you see her. It's been a tough week for her. This is Laura from Brookhaven News. Later that same evening. Um, what are you doing here? I'm looking for Ashley. What do you want? You're under arrest for faking your own death. What? Faking your own death is very illegal. You cannot do that. And you're also under arrest for cyberbullying. Early, I know you're excited, but do you have to be so excited that you're nearly knocking desks over? I think the bigger question is, how are you not so excited? I never said that. Curly, you are sitting there looking like you're made of stone. That is pretty not excited to me. I just want to make sure there's a reason to be excited before I totally start freaking out. I mean, the teacher said there's a big surprise for us today. What else could that possibly mean? Uh, in teacher speak, possibly a 
pop quiz. Oh, how dare you even put that out into the universe? No, it's something good. I can feel it. And this close to the end of the year? I'm thinking an early dismissal day or a field trip to the zoo. I can feel it. Well, you can feel it, but if the surprise ends up being cleaning out our lockers, don't say I didn't tell you so. I am so going to ignore this negative attitude so I don't let it seep into my soul. Sky, you are such a character. Moments later. <laughs> Settle down, Sky. It sounds like someone just stepped on a mouse. A very excited mouse. Hello, my good students. How are you all today? We're good, Mr. Teacher Man, sir. But uh, didn't you say you have a surprise for us today? I hope it's not something already on you. Because if so, that would be like a really small surprise. Not saying something small can't be good. But it would have to be something that would fit in your pocket. And, well, that would be something like a ring pop. And kind of disappointing. Guy, chill. Wow, I am pleased to know that some of my students listen to when I give announcements and remember the surprise. Yup, that's me. Just call me Good Memory Sky. In fact, if you want to give me the surprise right now, that is cool. Ooh, should I close my eyes? Or are we going to make it some sort of a guessing game? You make it sound like you were deprived as a child. <laughs> well, Sky, as much as I would love to surprise you with something that I think you're expecting, I'm afraid what I have in mind isn't much of an object. <laughs> Well, kind of. It's not a pet, but somebody new will be joining the class. You guessed it, Sky. Wait, someone? Like a person? Yup, we are getting a new student. Isn't that exciting? Not as exciting as a guinea pig. You see, this is why I don't get my hopes up. It always ends up with you being disappointed. A person? What kind of a surprise is a person? Who knows? Maybe he or she will be cool. Ooh, maybe it'll be a cute boy or someone else to join the bestie squad. Get real, girl. Nobody else can join the bestie squad. We're a duo. You all wait here and I'm gonna go get her. A few moments later. Whoa, she's pretty. I don't know about that, girlia. She looks mean. Oh, you can't judge someone based off of that. What does being mean even look like? That. Last, I would like to introduce you to our new student, Anna. Anna, I would like to introduce you to our class. Ahem, <laughs> uh, Anna. Ugh, I was just texting God. Tell you how rude it is to interrupt someone when they were texting? Okay, now do you see what I mean? I still think it's too early to judge. Oh, you are such a goody goody. Anna, why don't you tell everyone where you're from? Why does it matter? It's nobody's business. Um, well, it's a good way to get to know everyone, and so everyone can get to know you. Ew, like I would want to get to know everyone in this disgusting town. Well, at least you have some strong opinions on being here. My only opinion is that I don't want to be here. Is that good enough for you? Well, uh, just because I'm a teacher, that doesn't mean I don't get my feelings hurt. Ahem, <clears throat> uh, Anna, why don't you go take a seat in the back so you don't offend anyone? I mean, trip over anyone on your way over. Ugh, whatever. I mean, at least I'm close to the exit of this dump. Seriously, you don't see it? That girl is a total bully. Sorry, I guess I'm just not so quick to judge. Gosh, the second bell rang already. Where have you been? Sorry, Mr. Teacher Men, sir. I just stopped by the office and I guess I got sidetracked. All right, well, take a seat and don't let it happen again. Ooh, he's cute. She is now my enemy. A few moments later. So, you see it now? You see how she's officially the worst of the worst? She's a bully girly. I see it because she's making moves on the man of my dreams. And you see it because she's not a class pet. Either way, we cannot have this horrible shrew of a girl running our class like this. She's awful. We have to think of some way to get rid of her. Oh, I agree. And can you believe it? The first thing she did after dissing our hometown was put the moves on Josh. Josh! I thought it was clear Josh was mine. It was pretty clear, right? Don't worry, girly. It's crystal clear. Ugh, I just wish there was a way that we could get her to go back to where she came from. Yeah, like the Wizard of Oz, the part where the Wicked Witch lives. Maybe this is all just a huge scare. Maybe she isn't really that bad. Come on, Sky. Let's get to class. Whoa! Walk much free? Hey, you tripped her. No, I didn't, you redheaded freak. Yeah, you totally did, and that is not cool. <laughs> What's so funny? I get who you guys are. You guys are the losers. What? We are not? No, ask anyone. Talk to anyone in this place? No, thank you. I'll see you around, losers. Meanwhile. I can't believe we got through this many years scot-free and it officially happened. We got a bully. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think Anna's that bad. Uh of course you don't, because you're a guy, and she thinks you're a cutie. Oh, do you think I'm cute, Sky? Please, tell me more. Shut up. I will literally stick this piece of pizza I'm eating down your throat. Hey, hey, break it up, 
you two. Nobody wants to hear you squawking at each other. This is just one little girl. I don't know why we're so afraid. <gasps> oh, God. It's her. Quick, hide. Don't make eye contact. Wow, girly, wow. I've seen better nerds for my cat crossing the highway. Yeah, well, all a cat needs to worry about is getting hit by a car. Being bullied in high school is much, much worse. I don't know what you guys are talking about. She's not that bad. Excuse me? Ahem, is this seat taken? Um, yeah, it is. By me. You can't sit there. I'm sorry. Do you hear anything? Hey, bully, you're sitting on my best friend's spot. How about you unblock your ears and get off? Wow, sorry about that, Josh. Oh, uh, I'm fine. You didn't do anything to me. Josh, it's fine. You can leave him alone now. You know, Josh, you don't have to sit here with them. I'm sure there are other more popular tables you could sit at. There's no need to downgrade yourself. Oh, uh, thanks, but I'm okay here. Too bad. Well, if you ever need someone to sit with, I'm always here. See? I don't know why you guys think she's so bad. Later that same evening. Hey, Mom. Uh-oh, that's not a good hey, Mom. What's going on? Uh, it was kind of a bad day. What happened? Well, we have this new student. I was hoping it was going to be a guinea pig, but it's more like a rabid hyena. You're upset because you got a rabid hyena in your class? No, no, not a real hyena. That would be less scary. It's this bully. Her name is Anna, and she's the worst. She calls me and Sky losers, and even worse, she puts the moves on Josh. Well, that's not too bad. I know, but I've got the school's phone book just in case you wanted to call in and leave an anonymous request, hoping that she would be transferred. I heard that Mary Avenue and Bloxburg have wonderful programs. No, no, I'm not saying anything about her being transferred. I'm just saying it's too bad because I feel for her. You feel for her. The bully. Am I missing something? Well, yeah, Mackenzie. People who bully are generally not happy people. There's got to be some reason why she's a bully. Yeah, well, I don't care. I don't like being called a loser. Of course not. But anyone who calls other people's names like that probably feels very small on the inside. Or they're called that at home. All I'm saying is you should feel bad for anyone who is willing to swoop that low to try and hurt other people's feelings with their words. I guess. But does that mean you're not going to try and get her kicked out? That is correct. I think what you should do is invite her over or maybe go get some ice cream. Ugh, why would I do that? To show her that being in Brookhaven isn't that bad and that she has a friend on her side. Think about it. Even rabid hyenas can be tamed with the right measures. This wild hyena, though? I have doubts, Mom. I seriously have doubts. Give it a try. And if I'm wrong, you can tell me how wrong I am. You love doing that. You're right. I do. The next day. What do you want? Hey, Anna, it's uh, Mackenzie from school. Who? Mackenzie. I don't know who that is. The loser? The blonde or the red one? Blonde. Look, I was wondering if maybe you wanted to go get some ice cream with me. Ew. Why? I really don't know. Um, I thought it would be fun. You're new here in town, and I figured that maybe you could use a friend or maybe even a tour. I've officially hit a new low. Sure. Cool. I'll meet you there in an hour. Uh, hello? Hello? Awesome. She hung up on me. A few moments later. So close to me. I don't want people to think that we're together. Um, but we are together. Ugh, this place is the worst. I hate it here. Well, then why did you move here? It's not like I had a choice. Jeez, that really sucks. Why? My mom's new boyfriend is here. She wanted to be closer to him. Oh, I'm really sorry. Do you like him? Nope, not at all. He's really mean to me. He always calls me a loser and a freak, and he doesn't even let me sit on the couch with them. Wow, I'm really sorry. Yeah, it's not very fun being called those names. Look, I know I'm it's kind of a bully to you. I'm sorry. It's just kind of what I'm used to now. Don't worry about it. Someone told me that bullies are the ones you've got to be the nicest to. Darn it. My mom is really right about everything. But look, Anna, you don't need to be a bully. We could be friends. You think so? Of course. And I'm not the only one. A few moments later. Are you sure she'll be okay with this? Oh, Sky positive. Ah! Sky, calm down. She's with us. You trick. No, I'm not a traitor. Anna, show her. I'm sorry I was mean to you guys. I guess I'm just having a hard time at home and I took it out on the wrong people. You guys are actually really nice, even to someone who was mean to you. Oh, really? Yeah, and the class is actually pretty cool. I mean, it would be a lot cooler if there was a class pet, but I don't know if we're allowed to have one. Ooh, tell me more, new bestie. Several days later. Have you thought of the petition you're going to use with the teacher for the class pet? Not yet, but I'm working on it. Good morning, my class. Ah, Anna, nice to see you settling in nicely. I actually have another very fun surprise for you all today. Oh, brother, here we go again. Class, 
I would like to introduce you to our new student, Aelin. Aelin, I would like to introduce you to our class. It's getting super late. We should probably go home before your mom has a conniption. Come on, girly. Wait, stop. Huh? What? What's going on? Shush. I will not. Just shut up for like one second. Just stay here. Kenzie, what is going on? Just wait, Sky. We have to be quiet. The target has been received and I'm closing in. The termination will be complete and no trace will ever be found. How the heck did you know that was going to be Ashley? My Ashley senses. I can sense her coming from like a mile away. And what the heck was she talking about? She sounded like a spy doing some shady stuff. Girlie, we are not getting involved in this and I mean it. Oh, why not? Sky, this could change everything. What would it change? It would... Oh, wait. I know what it changed. It changed our lives because we'd probably end up dead if all of this was true. So no thank you, girly. It is not happening. Ugh, fine. No, not uh fine. I want you to promise not to investigate or do anything about this. Okay, I promise. Pinky promise? But, but nothing. You will pinky promise. Fine, I pinky promise. Good, now let's go home. Later that night. Ugh, I can't believe Sky won't let me find out what's going on. Like, when did she become so boring and scared? I want the old Sky back. And what if Ashley's up to no good? I mean, she's definitely up to no good. Ugh, but I think he promised. Wait, but what if Ashley destroys the entire city? No, 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 this is all my fault. My gosh, what have I done? <laughs> Look at your city now. It's nothing. I failed. Everyone is dead, and it's all my fault. Oh my gosh, there is no way I'm letting her do that. That's it. I gotta go tell Sky. A few moments later. Wait a second. If I knock, then I'll just wake up her mom. All right, that's it. I'm gonna call her. Man, no answer. Gosh, do I really have to sneak in? Well, this all fails if the door is locked. Oof. Okay, it worked. Now to go to Sky's room. Ooh, maybe a quick snack break first. One eternity later. Oh, food coma. Okay, hopefully she's not in an awful mood. Hey, Sky! <laughs> Sky, Sky, wake up! If this is about Ashley, it will be the end of you for waking me up. Well, it is about Ashley, and she's up to no good. Uh, go home. Go to sleep, Kenzie. But I swear, Sky, you have to let me investigate. I saw some very troubling things in my dream. If you don't leave, you'll permanently be in my dream. <sighs> Fine. Five minutes later. Man, that was just a big waste of time. <laughs> Soon this city will be all mine. No, no, it won't. Not under my watch, Ashley. I am coming for you. All right, Ashley, now where are you? <gasps> Oh my gosh. Man, why don't I have a cool spy outfit? I would look so bougie. Plus, I could even make a post about it. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Termination complete. Rest up for the rest of the night. We'll deal with other targets tomorrow. All right, we'll do, boss. <sighs> the next morning. Huh? What the heck? Oh my gosh, I lost track of her. No, 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 this is not good. What was she doing last night? She was up to something fishy. And then all of a sudden, she started talking about termination and targets. I don't understand it. I don't like it. I can tell you that right now. Oh my God, oh my God. I think my head is about to explode. What the heck are you doing in my front yard, dweeb? Get off my lawn before I terminate you. Ah! Moments later. This is not good. She probably thinks I'm on to her. Okay, I need to act fast. Ugh, shut up, stupid phone. Meanwhile. She really just canceled my call? She better not be doing what I think she's doing. She piggy promised that she wouldn't. Meanwhile. All right, hopefully she didn't leave while I was changing. I have been waiting so long to wear this spy outfit. Mackenzie, how are you doing? It has been so long since I've seen you. Ooh, I love your little cute outfit. Sasha's mom, hi. Uh, I really have to go. This is something super, super important. All right, this is a good hiding spot for now. Let's see if I can see her. Phew, she must have been inside the entire time. I need to figure out what she's up to. Oh my gosh, she's coming this way. Hide! Now, where are you going? What is she doing? She seems like she's messing around. She's walking with such intent. She must know where she's going. Early? What are you doing? Shush, Sky, be quiet. Why would I be quiet? That makes no sense, girly. Ah, uh, never mind. Why are you all dressed up like that? I just felt like it. Well, it looks amazing and super 
cool. Let's hang out. Yeah, sure. Let me just go home and change first then. And I'll call you when I'm ready. How does that sound? Sure. Sounds amazing, girly girl. Uh, all right. Meanwhile. That was too easy. Hey, yeah, I'm in the clear. I got rid of her. You mean we did. Without my help, you would have been caught and found. Five minutes later. What? Where the heck did she go? Oh, this is craziness. She must have known that I was on to her. Darn it. All right, well, she's got to be around here somewhere. Maybe she's hiding behind in the alleyway. Oh, man, I guess she's not here either. What do you think you're doing? Ah, Sky! Cut off guard, are we? I mean, yeah, a little. How come you ignored my calls? And why are you in a spy outfit? Um, I, I, uh, wait a second. How come you're following me? We literally just saw each other and literally said we would meet up after I changed. That's kind of creepy of you. Following you and just saw each other? What do you mean? Stop playing dumb. I literally just saw you like five minutes ago. Stop dodging my question. What do you mean? This is the first time I'm seeing you today. Wait, are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. What are you on about? Oh my gosh, Sky, that means they created a fake version of you and then it's going around and acting like you. You have got to be kidding me, Mackenzie. This is where I draw the line. Enough is enough. I'm serious. Yeah, I believe that you are, but you're acting crazy because none of this is true. Fine, if you want to act this way, then act this way. But I'm going to find Ashley and save Brookhaven. I just wish my best friend was here to do it with me. Let me know if you find her. Moments later. Thanks to good old Sky. Well, not the real one, but the fake one. Now I have no idea where Ashley is. Wait a second. Maybe I should go check her house again. Meanwhile. Target is in place. They'll be arriving soon. When should I take care of business? Later tonight when the city sleeps. Will do, boss. Then the city will be all ours. Meanwhile. Now where would someone like Ashley hide valuable information? Hmm. Nope, not here. Ooh, let me check the living room. No, nothing around here either. Her bedroom. There's got to be something in her bedroom. Ew, it smells like moldy old cheese in here. Man, that's disgusting. Meanwhile. When will we be landing? Shortly, Miss Billy Eyelash. Um, aren't you supposed to be flying? No, no, everything is okay. But you're the captain, and why is the plane shaking? Ah! My partner's up there handling the job. He's more than capable. Captain, captain, the other captain passed out, and we are going down. You have to save us. Not to worry, I will get the job done. Moments later. Ooh, all right, that was a close one. One eternity later. Man, this is stupid. I give up. Uh, mother? Oh my god, she's back, she's back. Hide! And I hope she doesn't see me. Only a few more hours, then it is time to die, Billy. Ha 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 ha. She's gonna kill Billy Eilish. I have to stop this. Five minutes later. Guys, 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 pick up, pick up. that she's renting for the week. Anyways, that's it and that is all. Everyone enjoy the show tomorrow and stay safe. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Meanwhile, that's where she'll be. I need to get there and figure this all out. I've got no time to waste. I gotta go. Kenzie, Kenzie, oh, I am so sorry I missed your call. Uh, where are you going? I'm going to say Billie Eilish. Say what? That sounds insane. What are you even talking about? Ashley's trying to do something funky and she's trying to get rid of Billy, so we have to do something about it. Kenzie, are you sure? That's crazy. Like, absolutely crazy. Sky, I am dead serious. All right, then let's stop her. Let's do this, girly. A few moments later. Okay, somehow we have to get inside and not let Billy see us, but we gotta watch over her. Well, why don't we just go and tell her? Because, Sky, she definitely won't believe us. And plus, I won't even be able to tell her because I will get sidetracked and start fangirling over her. That is super true. Okay, come on, let's go. Okay, you go to the back and make sure it's clear and then I'll be on front lookout. A hundred percent. Let's do this. Moments later. Oh my gosh, there she is. The Billie Eilish. Wow, this is not weird or stalkerish at all. Um, excuse me, are you spying on me? Sorry, I blew my cover. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Um, security. No, 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 don't call security on me. I'm here to help. Sky, Sky, come here. I found Billy. Oh my gosh, Billy Eilish, it is so nice to meet you. Wow, you really are a bad guy. All right, Billy, stop. You have to listen to us. I'm telling you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on right now? Oh, hey there. Whoa, Kenzie, you were right this entire time. See, I told you. Don't worry, girls. I'll handle her. What? Billy, how? 